Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in stacking. This is a charming puzzle adventure game developed by, well I mean they're not only fine but they are double fine. Published by THQ Nordic and Xbox Game Studios and it's usually available for $9.99 but the 2011 Xbox Arcade Classic is now available on Game Pass. Yes. So we play as the tiniest Russian stacking doll in the whole land. Little Charlie Blackmore. Or, if you're listening in English Russian, English Russian, Little Charlie Blackmore. Or was that Austrian? Eh. Anyway, uh, that could use an improvement. But we are going to embark on an adventure to rescue our family from the wiener man called the Baron. Why he's picked on our little family, I don't know. But we will be stacking inside bigger things to get to places and do stuff. So get used to a lot of you going in and out and in and out. <laughs> this does also include the DLC, The Lost Hobo King, which is actually free to download as well, so make sure you get that for some extra achievements as well. And the achievements are easy enough. It's basically for completing all hijinxes, uh, which are basically the challenges in the game, completing the main story, and going inside each unique doll, dry as hell, in every level. It's a fun and relaxing game, and we can get this done in around three to four hours. So, with that being said then, let's do it. And of course, what we're going to start is the game. And then what we're also going to start then is the na, 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 na. original adventure, of course. Now, with all cutscenes, you can actually skip them just by bashing and mashing the B button. So uh, there'll be a few, quite a few cutscenes in the game we'll be skipping. Um, so again, uh, here is little Charlie Blackmore. Uh, so yeah, this is it. Uh, left stick to move. You're going to press the X button to talk to uh, every character in the game. Um, that's pretty much it. He, he literally just says, Hello, I'm out of your way. Now get the hell past me. I am Hobo. So what we'll do is nip down the stairs. We'll go to the left to go up the steps. So effectively, um, we're going to speak to a, another guy right here. But effectively, the game has three big levels and this train station, which can effectively be called a level as well. Um, which obviously, as I said, we have to collect a lot of things, do a lot of... Um, uh, puzzles and stuff like that. So, I hope you're ready to go inside a lot of people because it's gonna happen. And yes, that joke is never gonna end. Uh, so another cutscene here. So again, you can just mash the B button. Sometimes it's quite finicky, by the way, with the B button. Sometimes it works straight away, sometimes it doesn't. But this is where the game is gonna tell you how to do stuff. So, heading down the stairs and it just says you can get close to the back of another doll who is exactly one size larger than you. You can't go straight up to a big boy. So press the Y button, you'll stack inside, and now you can move. Hello! -wee. So what you're going to do then is move over to this Ladia. Press the Y button again, and you can jump in her. Woohoo! Nobody's jumped like that in me in a long time. Me neither. Uh, <laughs> so, what you'll also see then, when you get into different characters, you can see the A button. Every unique character doll has a unique uh, insult or a unique something. So obviously this guy here, he's got the make way, which gets all the people out of the way. And then others will have things like flaring up and yeah, just stuff like that. So uh, that Illuminati illumination flashing guy, we will come to a little bit later on. But for now, we're going to just go ahead straight ahead and interact with and speak to the gatekeeper. So just go ahead and talk to the gatekeeper for... Uh, and obviously you can press the B button to unstack. So if you need to get out of being large and in charge, you can just press the B button to jump back out. So uh, the key master is fairly obvious to find. All you've got to do then is just turn your screen all the way around. Keep going. And he's going to have a big key on his head. Yeah, that's not subtle at all really there, is it, pal? But, uh, oh well, great mustache. So what we need to do then, we need to unstack once. So, because obviously we're the same size, we can't get inside him because we're the same size. So, we need to unstack the ones. There we go. And, of course, like I said, always remember to stack from the back. Make it thick from the hip. Oh, yeah. So, with that, as soon as they are glowing blue, that's when you know you can jump in. These are one of the unique dolls as well. Key Master Dawson. So, and obviously, it'll tell you how many unique dolls. If you press the start button and go over the left bumper as well, it'll also tell you how many you've got. Press the A button here to unlock the key, and away we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
So the main concourse, which is the main area of the sort of train station -y bit, um, if you do end up getting lost for whatever particular reason, you press the right bumper, it'll tell you the way to go. So this is the main concourse. This is the main area of the concourse. And again, like I said, if you press the start button, you can use the left trigger, sorry, not right bumper, left bumper. It was left trigger to cycle through. Here we go. So we've got the archive. These are your characters. Um, so obviously if you are missing one for some particular reason, you can just pause, see which one that you are missing and go ahead and find them. Right, so uh, what we're going to do, we are going to continue straight on and go up the right hand side stairs. A lot of walking in this game, it, knackered, it generally knackered me out by the end. And then here on the right hand side is the Royal Lounge. <laughs> uh, so once we get here then another little cutscene will play. Hello, no one from invited guests me enters the lounge. All right, you posh bar stool is here. So, there's always for these challenges, these main story challenges. There's always a couple of solutions to them. Some will have three, most will have three, uh, but you may get four, five, and even six for the last one. So, what we need to do then is we need to stack, unstack a couple of times, and stack in with this little guy with the wrench slash spanner, wherever you're from. This is Clerk of the Works Jasper. Now go to the fan, which is just to the right of the Royal Lounge train. And if we just turn it around, there we go, there's the fan. Press the A button there to maintain the living crap out of it. There we go. Just, uh, what you're gonna do, we are now gonna walk through, talk to the host in the middle of the room. You can always tell which one the host is, because he's got that face, you know. Mmm, hello. Ew, the mood is ruined. Everyone else now. Why? Why do posh people speak like that? Why do posh people speak like that? Oh, yeah. Like they're having a... You know, like they're having a choke in a cat session or something. Anyway, once that one's done, we've got one out of three done. And obviously it'll tell you. And obviously we need to do the multiple solutions to get all the achievements anyway. Right, so, what we are going to do now, we are going to find a woman, this woman right here, who is shaking them fan hips. Uh, so what we need to do is obviously get uh, stacked into one, because obviously you can't stack into one bigger than the bigger one. Um, if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and stack into all three of these, but we got to do it later, so don't worry about it for now. Um, I accidentally went into the wrong lady. <laughs> I haven't said that too many times in my life. Ursula Allendorf. Again, we need to jump into her later on anyway, so if you don't find her, don't panic. Um, this is the one that we do need for now, the Widow Chastity. So again, with the uh, Ursula Allendorf, again, we have to find her later on anyway. If you do see her on your passings though, uh, just, you know, go ahead and smash her in. Don't <laughs> smash her in. Otherwise, we can press the A button to seduce the guard here, move him away from the gate. We can now then jump out, jump into the guard to get Guard Purry. And then what we can do is just head straight inside, unlock it, go straight in, and then Earl's your old posh guy who said, yeah, you might let some desirables in. And then the party will be over once again. And lucky for you. Okay. So that is now two out of three. Unauthorized entry done. Right. So what we're going to do now from here. We can, now, there will be a couple of weird edit skips in the game, uh, just because sometimes I got lost in my own thought and my own weird stuff. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is uh, stack into at least um, another two dolls, head down the steps, down to the steps again, and you can see this bald guy farting his absolute numpty off. Merryweather Malador. Should have called him Merryweather Poopmore. Damn. Uh, so <laughs> that's uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's how you do it. You flatulate. You do not fart. You do flatulate, of course. So bring Merry uh, Merryweather poops a lot straight up to the fan. Flatulate straight down the fan, <laughs> and that will be uh, three out of three completed. Emptying the lounge. So now we can access the lounge as free as we want, which is always nice. Nice. Right, so now we can jump into all three of these train guys. Again, if you followed me earlier, you would have got at least the two. If not, you will now get the two. And there's the third one, Engineer Ulysses. So you should be on nine, uh, providing you've done the mother 
uh, Allendorf one. If not, you'll, you should still be on eight or nine there, depending on which one you've done so far. So, we are now going to head to the coal room. So, down the steps, if you just go all the way down here, make a right before you head straight down, and you're going to see, just up the steps here is the coal room. There we go, that's where we need to go. Uh, we're going to find a doll beating a drum. I don't know what this drum done to this doll to get him beaten in such a horrific manner. But it's what's happening. So, climbing up, climbing up. There we go. Oh, leave that, leave that son of a, leave that drum alone. So, we're going to unstack once and stack into the drummer. And uh, that's basically to, just to get the uh, collection, the unique doll collection. So, you should be on roughly 9 or 10 again, as I said, depending on the... Mother Allendorf, whether you got her or not just yet. Alright, so now we're back into the train guild, Mr. Man. Um, what we are now going to do is go back to where we basically first died. So where we ended up opening the gate and everything. Uh, so what we're going to do is... <laughs> it ain't going to be this old man. This old man, he's miserable. He looks like he... Doesn't go inside any dolls anymore. <laughs> anyway, we are just going to go ahead all the way back. We're going to now speak to the union leader that we saw at the beginning. The old Gingarini, by the way. Um, if there are any uh, gingers in the UK who are affected by this heat, then my, my respect to you. Big love to everyone. Uh, I'm half ginger myself. or well, my skin is at least, and it's killing me. Anyway, once you have approached this guy, uh, you will get the first achievement here, Strike Breaker for completing the Strain Trike Adventure. The strike's over. Hooray! So there we go. Now we're going to walk towards these people to begin yet another cutscene. So yeah, that's obviously just saying, the more you do, the more things you get, and yeah, looking good, then. Right, so what we're going to do, um, we are now basically going to just follow the path. It's the same, should be the same path as earlier on, uh, as just as we started the game, so you'll just need to go through all this bit once again, until we are back in the train area once more. And hell yeah! Now that we are back here, what we're going to do is, if you follow the line to the very left-hand side train here, all aboard! We can now actually talk to the conductors. We don't have to pay for it or anything like that. It's all free. Uh, this is not one of the conductors, by the way. He is just a train engineer, which we don't care about just yet. So turn around, speak to the guy you're right in front of you now. Eventually we will. There we go. And then we'll be on our way to Armadildo. Wait, every night I haven't been hugging my pildo. So welcome then to the first main level. So we've got a whole bunch of things to do. Um, high jinxes, which of course are the little challenges that we have to do with certain unique characters. So what we're going to do first then, go at, and this is what they call them, the high jinx. And you'll get used to these very, very easily in just a little bit. So, uh, obviously go straight forward, the seaside, the seaside safari will begin, and we are going to go, well... We're going to go nuts. We're going to cause chaos here at the safari. Oh, yes. So, first things first then, what we're going to do, we are going to head straight into where the cannon is. And you see the guy sitting down at the cannon? We are going to stack into him. That's what we're going to do. So, make sure that, uh, obviously, if you are not able to stack into him, make sure to stack into someone who's just a little bit bigger. That should do it. Stack in. Now, turn the pipe all the way to the left. This is Field Commander Appleyard, by the way. Then you can press the A button to fire the cannon, and that'll go ping-de-pop. Boing! Oh, 
It's an unfortunate set of circumstances, huh? So then, my friends, that is one done. There we go, and cause chaos to the safari, one out of four, done. Right, so what we're going to do now is stack into the large doll with the boxing glove here. So, obviously, you're going to need to stack up a couple of times. There's the man with the boxing glove, even though it's just uh, just above just just above his fist, but whatever. So, what we need to do now, um, this is basically, a, we can get into even larger dolls if we want. But basically, for this guy then, for causing chaos of the safari, we need to proper uppercut, which is his special ability, three of the paper lions. So there was one obviously right in front of us, and the other two. Uh, stop trying to punch old women. By the way, that's not a good thing. Uh, the other two are over on to the right-hand side. So there's one where the one boxer is. Oops, sorry, pal. Oops, sorry, pal. Oops, sorry, pal. Ow. My head. Oh, there we oh, apparently I already punched it off. There we go. And the next one is... Oops, sorry, pal. Uh, straight in front of us. That's three done. So that's number two out of four for causing chaos at the safari. Now, this is where... Honestly, if you were at, uh, looking at sort of a written walkthrough or something, this is where it may get confusing. But... Because you could use all ship terms and stuff like that, but nah, I... Nah, nah, nah. Let's not bother. I'm just going to say... Second deck, third deck, and all that jazz magoni deck. So head to the back of the ship here, or the front of the ship. Uh, we're going to call this... No, it technically it is the front, isn't it? But anyway, head up the stairs now. And then turn. if we turn to the left, what you're going to see is a shark jawbone just chilling on the railing. Now, what you're going to find here is a dog in like a purple argyle sweater. There's the bro. Bang. Number two out of 27. Done. That's prestige. Uh, now we now we need to uh, stack inside a pelican. You never thought you'd ever see a dog inside a pelican, did you? Uh, but there should be roaming around just this area here. There is one. You may have to obviously walk around for a little bit. Um, that's why there's a few edits. Primarily just to cut time down with the video. And it's pretty pointless you just watching me uh, go all around. Uh, but what we are going to do now. Uh, we are going to head basically back down the way we came. Um, which is obviously not that far. So you need to head down and we need to go back to the uh, safari. But not all the way. What you're going to do is go to the left here, press the A button and you can fly up to the nest. If you're not near a nest, by the way, obviously the pelican is going to say, Oh, I'm not near a nest. What the hell you want about, man? So now stack into the bear that you will find here, the old Kodiak camera bear, the old cocaine bear. <laughs> and that is our first hijink complete. So that is, yeah, I mean, obviously I'll be telling you what to do, even if you uh, are still confused about it by the end of the day. Um, so... What we are going to do, uh, that hijinks, by the way, was for stacking Prestige, the Pelican, and the Bear together. That's obviously what we've done. So head out through the double doors now. We need to take the Bear back to the Seaside Safari and make everyone crap their pants, <laughs> as it were. Uh, so we need to obviously go outside, go to the left, and just growl at people, and that will complete three out of four for causing chaos at El Safaro. And there she blows. Right, next up then, what we are going to do, we need to stack a, into a doll who has the make way ability. This guy, Baldy, with some some hair uh, just sticking out of his back. A lot of these times, these characters should just be sort of stood there. Um, so, yeah, if you're following along, they, a, a lot of these characters should be in the same spot that they are for me on screen. So once you've done this then, what we're going to do is we need to use it on the dolls that are tied to the paper zebra uh, which are basically in the middle of the track so this little yellow line on the right hand side of us there there we go so they're in the middle so we need to make way and then what you need to do is stack into the cyclists on the bike bicycle build for four so just keep following the yellow line around until you see them ah hello please there you go, you can literally just stack up and then keep continuing to smash the A button and 
Kaplano merge! Oh, excuse me, dear. And that's causing case of the safari, Aldern. Right, before moving on, we are going to stack into the doll here wearing the orange safety vest. Right in front of us now, this is, uh, this is Red Top. This is Carrot Top. Safety Inspector Ludd. Or if you take, change his name backwards, Dull. Um, but that's pretty much all he's needed for. So now what we need to do is look for a small doll wearing green. Now, uh, that would be a pelican. So what we're going to do, he's normally uh, around on the first deck. Um, and basically, he he's not like Merry Weather Gold, or whatever his name was, where he flatulates. He just toots a little. A little squeaker. But I think for now, what we're going to do is, uh, if we stack back into the pelican, it should be around the same area where I just picked him up. If not, you will see one here. As you come up to the second deck, just by the shark, uh, the jawbone is another nest. Um, which, of course, we need four in order to complete the hijinks. So grab that one, drop down, go past the shark bone. And here is the third one. And then the fourth one is going to be inside. Now, this took me, for some reason, a little while to find. But it's inside... Um, inside that room that I was just by, by the way, um, in the commander's, but just above the commander's buffet. So, obviously, it's not going to count once again, so we need to just drop down here. So, I do apologize about that. So, again, there is two and three, like we've already gone over, just in case. And now we can actually find the fourth one. By the way, if you're wondering why I've got a gold hat on, any time that you complete a hijinks for any unique character, they get a gold something. There is the fourth one. So now, obviously, it should pop for you on screen. Four out of four. All done. Hey, congratulations. That's so cute. And there we go. So from here, then, we can now go ahead and find a little green character. This green character right here. One with a tie. Little green little green dude with a tie. He's going to give us the toot ability. Uh, so all we got to do is toot on five dolls. So, now again, obviously, I've I seen him earlier on, that's why I got five straight away, but if you just go up to five different dolls and toot on them, <laughs> for some reason, a little squeaker is a lot funnier than a big ripper. So, now what we're going to do then, we are going to head downstairs. So, there's a couple of more challenges, obviously, we're going to do on this boat. Once you've got the little five green tootin' Putin, Vladimir tootin, <laughs> Um, so just ignore the blue line for now. Obviously, it just takes you to wherever the nearest challenger is. But what we're going to do is go downstairs and go to the Argyle Ballroom, which if we just walk forward, you can see a little magician outside. This is the Argyle Ballroom then. Uh, what we need to do is obviously just basically sabotage the exhibit, as it so plainly says there. So for the first solution, what we're going to do, we're going to stack into the security guard next to the mummy, which is the opposite side. So, yeah, we are stacking into these people because there's no point, actually, just at the minute. That's a sarcophagus? Sarcophagus? Yes. I'm not dull. <laughs> Ish. So, there is the security guard. Big egghead-looking mofo in white. So, again, just stack into whoever. Make sure you get him. That'll be exhibit guard Walter for uh, the fifth unique doll. Uh, then what we can do, you can press the A button, and there's three kids here sitting on a bench. What you need to do is press the A button to um, pick them up, and just put them anywhere else other than where they're sitting down. So then, once you have manhandled some kids, uh, what you're going to do is unstack, and you're going to stack straight into the mummy. Don't worry, the security guard can't see you. Uh, for some reason, he just gets stunned after a little while, but there we go. And now, all we got to do then is simply leave the exhibit. So head out through the exit, up the stairs, and that'll be the first one done. Now, bit of a weird edit skip coming up here, so I do apologize for this. Obviously, we've only done the first one, which is Mummy Dearest, rather than the second one, which is the Fighting Pharaoh. So if we just turn around then, what we are going to see is the Big Boxer Bro. So again, he should be on the railings after you've just finished the first one. So we need to stack into him. And we need to give a proper uppercut, mate, 
to the sarcophagus, which is wearing some boxing gloves. The fighting pharaoh. Uh, oops, sorry, pal. But uh, that is not the fighting sarcophagus. The one is right just in, in front of us there. Punch that square in the noggin, and that'll do. That's number two, fighting pharaoh. Alrighty, Roo. From here, we're going to go back and go to the right of us. Uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, go back into the dog. We are going to find at Prestige the dog, who should be on this floor somewhere. Where are you, dog? Well, sorry, he's going to be up on the second deck, of course. So we'll try that again. Where are you, dog? Where are you? Roar. Oh, come on, dog. Ah, hello, there he is. Right, so now what we're going to do, we are going to take uh, Prestige downstairs. In fact, no. In fact, no, we're not. Uh, it's on the second floor here. As we go towards the opposite end of the sh uh, the boat, we can go inside here if you want. It's just obviously the uh, cafeteria section. Uh, just go past the steps. Into the left. Into the right. And this uh, little... Fantastic chappy crappy is Gwendola. And she is who we need to get inside of. So, dog inside lady. Oh, man. This is getting weird now. Anyway, that should be 7 out of 18. Um, now, we are going to take Gwendola here down to the quest quarters. The quest... The quest quarters. The guest quarters, even. Uh, directly below where we just were uh, on the first deck. So, once we go in, we go to the left, heading down the stairs. Don't punch me, spank you very much. Don't punch me, spank you very much. So go into the right. Now, if you go into the left room, the left-hand side room immediately, that is where you will find Petrus, who kind of looks like a gypsy, uh, Romani, Romani thing. Um, this is just an old, old posh ladia, who we don't give two monkey nutsacks about. There we go. So go into the opposite room. There we go. There is Petrus, and that'll be the next collection of unique dolls. Eight out of twenty-seven done now. Right, so uh, what we're going to do, we are now going to head um, all the way back to the Argyle Ballroom where we've done all the magician and we got to stop the exhibit. So from here, again, you can just turn to the right here, head to the left, and there's going to be another little cutscene as we enter. Well, we'll get the cutscene once we stack inside our beloved Thomas the Egghead engine guy. Nah, man, doesn't it feel good to help out family? Yes, it does. Ronaldo. So, uh, Ronaldo here, all the family is going to be uh, a little bit further on. I just decided to be a baby and see how that went. As it turns out, it's a pretty sweet life being a baby. Not one which has such chubby little head, but uh, as that baby. Anyway, uh, if we just go on a little bit more to the left, you can see Ronaldo and the magic family right there. So we're going to snap. Uh, we're going to snap back to reality. Whoop! There goes Ronaldo. <laughs> now we are actually going to stack back into Ronaldo, and we're going to use his Perform Illusion um, ability on the large sarcophagus next to the wall as we head down the stairs to the right. This is the one I mean. And that'll be for a number 3 out of 5 for sabotaging the exhibit. Plus, what you can do as well is perform the Argyle Illusion on dolls. Now, I didn't actually do it yet. Not for any particular reason. I just forgot. So, uh, I end up doing that a little bit later on. But if you want to just get that hijinks out of the way, snap, stack back into Ronaldo, oh, Ronaldo, and um, uh, perform the Argyle Illusion on some dolls. If not, what we're going to do, if you just want to get this one out of the way, we're going to head back down. Uh, we're going to uh, basically now stack into the sarcophag sarcophagus, which is next to the stage. Right here. So there it is. That is the gilded sarcophagus. That sar sarcophagus, yes. That's the one we need, so again, all you got to do is just simply leave, and... Ta -da! <laughs> so 
So, we've already got one minute to go. We've already got one uh, left to go. So, what we're going to do now is stack into a violinist. There it is, uh, Ladia with a violin. There she is. Hello, my name is Viola. Nest. Yeah. Anyway, what we need to do, from where we are then, we're going to head basically just straight through to get to the other side of the ship. And if you have a look to the right of us, just up there, we need to play the... We press the A button here to play the violin, and the Pied Piper will come down and we'll have an epic battle off, which we actually won't. We just need to get inside the Pied Piper, and we need to get back up now to the second deck uh, of the ship. So up we go, chunky boy. If we head to the left, you probably would have seen the mice uh, earlier on. We've gone past them quite a couple of times. There they are. So what you need to do is actually get three all lined up in a row. Make sure there's no little kids about. And make sure that all three are following you. So once you start, uh, you will eventually stop. So you have to go now. So head back down. Turn to the right. I'm not sure if you do need all three or even if just one or two will do. But I uh, ended up getting all three just in case. Heading back into the Argyle Ballroom here and heading towards the Cheese Sphinx. The Cheese Sphinctor. There it is. That'll... <laughs> Those mice will devour the crap out of it. And that will be Sabotage in the Exhibit 5 out of 5. Curdy Turdy of the Ancient Bancients. So that's all five done. Uh, so what we're going to do before moving on, we're just going to stack into the tiny little man who kept shutting the Exhibit down. His name is Ferdinand Reginald. Not Franz Ferdinand or Ferdinand Rio or Anton Ferdinand, but Ferdinand Reginaldi. So, what we're going to do now is basically head straight up the steps. We are going back to the Commander's Buffet. What have we got? Fish, full of uns, quiche. Fish, full of uns, quiche. That's at every party and then you get a little bit of cake and some onion rings at the end. Right, so now we have to stop the uh, caviar being served. Yeah, everyone's Oh, in this game. Huh. Uh, there will be a cutscene, by the way. The reason you don't see it here is because I already um, got the cutscene going. So you will get the cutscene first, and then you need to stack yourself into this chef, Mr. Chef Hornsby. So we're into the kitchen here through the small cutout doorway, and what we're going to do is pour gruel thickener right into the caviar holder, which is basically big fish mouth. And that'll be the <laughs> first one. Completo. Arg! You ruined my caviar, you French fat man. Sorry, that, that was trying to be a Apoon Hasapima pedal on from the Simpsons joke right there. But, uh, well, <laughs> well, I suck at it. So, right, anyway, once that one has been done, caviar porage, we've still got four to go. So next up, we need to go back into the kitchen where Chef Hornsby is. So, you know where the kitchen is? That little cutout doorway. Yes, that was the one. See, bro, I told you I'd make it eventually. So there he is, Mr. Hornsby should be in that same location. If not, he will just be walking around the area. Now what we need to do is head uh, back out into the main area, and we need to pour gruel thickener into the water. There's now, obviously, the water in the little boats. Obviously, we're too um, too small, even though we could just raise our hands up right there. But apparently, not in this game. So you see, just see those little steps there. That's what we're going to head up in just a sec after I stop being um, mong boggery. There we go. Pop it in, and everyone's going to be like, My caviar! <laughs> Lovely. Right, we're actually going to leave the poor chef alone for five minutes. What we need to do, we are going to stack into a large doll, and then we are going to head uh, left to the large shark jawbone. You know, honestly, this guy's pretty big. He's pretty bald. He is, well, I mean, if you've got, again, like I've said before, if you've got hair on the back of your head like that, just shave it off, bruv. You look better. You look better without it. So you can just go ahead, enter the kitchen through the double doors, and then you can literally just push the fish caviar thing all the way out. All you got to do is just walk into it, and ta-da, that's number three. Ah, my French caviar. I kill you! Oh, 
that's absolutely fumigating Grolis, uh, <laughs> Wallace, and Gromit. All right, lad. Right, so what we're going to do, we are now going to uh, stack back into the Pied Piper. So we need to be the Violinist Lady. Here we are. So once you have got a Violinist Lady, again, one should be by the railings. If not, she will be... Um, nine times out of ten, they're, they're pretty much in the immediate area. Uh, so if you can't find one, they're sort of just walking around the immediate area. So you don't have to go off running about for too long. So uh, we need to find the Pied Piper, who is, of course, back on the first floor. In fact, I don't even think we... Uh, no, we don't even need the violinist. Sorry, this time we just needed anyone. Anyone and everyone. But my point still stands about everyone ro uh, roaming about in the immediate area. So go up, play the flute to lure the mice into the kitchen through the double doors. There we go, just by the shark bone. Hey, mice looking tiny. So, simply just go ahead straight through the double doors again. And it's going to be like, Oh, my caviar again. <laughs> and that'll be four out of five done then. Right, finally, what we need to do, we need to now stack into the maitre d slash the host. Who is, of course, not this guy. But he is the guy behind there, you know, the one who goes, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm wearing Nike trainers. Disgusting. Uh, just press the A button when you are inside the posh host. And he is... Uh, yeah, what we're going to do then is just when he comes, we're going to stack into the mini chef right here. There we go. So that'll be Unique Doll 15 out of 27 for Caviar Chef Vladimir. So what we can do then, we are now going to go into the kitchen and we are just going to go ahead and see the lever on the right hand, the left hand side of the fish. Just press the A button on it to dump the caviar and that is the challenge complete. Oh. Uh. Another challenge. Oh, so complete. Oh, right. What we're going to do now, we are going to head up these stairs. Once again, uh, we're going to the map room, which basically just has a bunch of towels on it and a map which is drawn on four massive towels. Tidy boy. Uh, so basically what we have to do now for this next objective is just muddle a bunch of maps and force Dr. Exact, great name, uh, to complain to the captain. So First of all then, obviously we need to get it going, so just head into the map room again. A cutscene will appear. Again, I've already come into this room, uh, but you'll get a cutscene. Once the cutscene's over, we can now just uh, stack ourselves right inside the guy, scrubbing the walls. Obviously you may have to get... 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 Uh, fine, I will stack into you, Mr. Funny Hat Man. There we go, so once you go in to get in here, you can press the A button to scrub. That should be 16 out of 27 for unique dolls. Mr. Morris. Scrub, scrub, scrub it clean. All we need to do then is go to the back, scrub the towels clean, and that is one out of four complete. Few minutes, boys, with a, with a gramophone on his head. Okay. Does that not hurt? Right, teammate. So now that that one is done, if we head to the left slightly, we can now confront the captain if we so wish. But we're not going to do that just yet. We've got quite a bit to go. So what we're going to do, you see the little fat blonde boy on the right? We will be coming back to him. The guy's throwing up cookies. What I'm just going to quickly do first is head back to Ronaldo and the um, the illusionist family. And I'm going to get uh, Ronaldo's hijinks out of the way here. So again, they should still be on the railings just outside the Argyle ballroom. So again, obviously, all you're going to be doing is pressing the A button on 10 dolls, uh, 10 different dolls to get the a mass effect. Hijinks complete. So once we have done that one, again, apologies, I should have done that one earlier, but uh, that's... Yeah, it's all right. No, it's all right. Right, now what we need to do then is go and get Hans. So 
So again, he is going to be up the stairs on the third deck. You might see him sort of roaming around. Remember, he is the chunky little boy with blonde hair and a blue suit on. So if you don't see him around here, continue up the steps once again. And Hans actually just reminds me of um, the little German boy from The Simpsons. Please don't make me run. I'm full of chocolate. There he is there, an old chocolate face. So all you need to do is go into the map room, press the A button to toss the cookies right next to the map, which means basically just throw up on them. Uh, I don't know why he's getting angry for, because he put them on the floor, not actually on the map. But uh, hey, what do I know? I'm not the one being pissed off about it. So after you've done that with Hans, what we're going to do now is we need to stack into a doll with a white glove. Now, normally, he should be right here. It's the one with the um, excellent looking hat. And you can always tell because you get the unique ability there to white glove slap. So, all we're going to do, we need to go around um, <laughs> 10 different um, dolls and give them all a white glove slap. Now, to get the third one complete, um, we can actually just slap this guy. This will actually be the third one complete. And then, obviously, if you did manage to finish uh, the posh guy's hijinks, of course, you can just uh, go ahead and do that, and you don't have to worry. Otherwise, if you were like me and you jumped the gun a little bit early, we actually have to go and find him again. He will still be roaming on this uh, side. There he is. We should, should, should still be on this deck. So, once... You have found him, um, and if you've pretty much slapped everyone that you can. You can't slap children, of course. That's one thing this game does slightly well. It would have been funny to slap a child across the face in the game. That's all. That's all. That's it in the game. Um, <laughs> but now you can just go, ow. Thank you for that. You just busted my news. Right, so that one is all done. Now then, for the final solution, what we can do is stack into any child doll, and we need to take him over to the artist makeover shop. Now... Uh, Hans does not count, by the way. Um, well, I don't think he counts, anyway. But basically, any child is literally just one of these small dolls. Now, I personally thought they were just like adult midgets, but they are actually children. So this is where the artistic man is. He is not interested in, in uh, fat little blonde boys. Which is good, that's what keeps him out of prison. Um, and obviously, uh, Charlie, he, we, we are an adult child thing. Anyway, from here, go ahead and find a child. This, like I said, is a child. That genuinely just looks like a 40-year-old man going to work, but he's a bit tiny. Um, so don't be fooled into thinking they're all adults when they're not. Uh, so once you have the artistic makeover, he will uh, place a crayon on our head. And we can also get uh, dolls made over by the artistic makeover shop. For the hijinks, for one out of five. Uh, so, but we won't bother with that yet. We'll come back to that just later on. Now, what we're going to do, we're actually just going to head all the way back up to the map room on the third deck and complete the final solution by drawing on it. Because that's how people draw, apparently. Oh boy, Broski, not a happy man. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to actually just stack into the doll that we have been harassing just for a minute. So uh, stack into with a couple of these dolls and go ahead and stack into Map Assistant Gilbert. That should be 18 now out of 27. So um, now we can actually go ahead and confront the captain. So just head to the end of this deck. You need to unstack yourself. Damn, that's ass, man. <laughs> Damn, that's thick boy. Uh, yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Just go ahead and unstack. Charlie is the only one that can fit through here. So just go ahead and follow the linear path until... 
were out by the adventurers. So what we're going to do then, we can just go ahead and get inside each adventurer. Oh. Uh, first of all, we are actually just going to measure the small guard when you get uh, when you are into Doctor Exact, which is the um, the smallest adventurer right there, and that will uh, open up the first gate. Then for the second gate, what we need to do is get inside. So obviously we need to get stacked inside the first guard, or the first adventurer, and then the second one. So it's basically going from smallest to largest right here. So with Professor Ramses, what we're going to do is just go up to the second guard. And we are going to mummify the second guard. Again, there is another hijinks a little bit later on for uh, mummifying five dolls. We'll get that after we have completed this bit. Look at his little hand. Ah! Stop mummifying me! I'm Michael Jackson! Hee <laughs> hee! Right, now we are going to go and get into the third one, which is the Hunter Darby. And we're just going to basically shoot this guy. Yes, so press the A button when you're in range. Kablamo, square in the gut. That'll pop him straight in half. Ooh, looks a bit... Uh, oh, I never could take a hit. I mean, he just did, to be fair, so I'll give you that one. And finally, what you need to do is get into the large, the old, uh, what's her name from Resident Evil? You know, Big Mamacita, with the old big cleavage, which made every Resident Evil fan's um, ears stand up on the end of their penises. Uh, all we got to do then is just <laughs> head all the way up, go to the left, and straight down, we're going to press the A button to intimidate the captain, and... The cut, a cutscene will ensue where we... Jesus Christ, that sounds more like a horse than an intimidation tactic. Actually, that went really well. So this is going to get us the Season Swashbuckler achievement for completing the Gilded Stip Steam, uh, Steam Ship Adventure. And we will meet up with Agatha. And we will learn the fate of our sister, Abigail, if you are actually paying attention to the cutscenes. If not, then no worries. Right. We can return to the uh, train station if we want, but we're not going to yet. We've got a couple of more things to do. So, uh, what we're going to do from here, we're going to go to the... Say we're just looking at the ship. We're going to go to the right, uh, where it'll tell us about some bonus challenges. So, just uh, continue on straight for a minute, and then another cutscene will appear. And as I said, this be one of the, the challenges. Right, what you're going to see is two dolls right here. The old hillbilly looking. <laughs> um, so what we need to do, we need to get inside either one. In fact, we need to get inside both of them first. So Billy and Bobby Webb. Uh, they will be an extra two unique dolls that we're going to smash into. Then what we need to do is stack into any fancy looking dolls. So yeah, Abraham Lincoln here will do just fine. Or, you know, anyone. Anyone with a top hat. Anyone who looks uh, fancier. <laughs> so, all we need to do, oh, yar you, is just head down the steps. Head to the left. Now, what you need to do is get up on the stage with one of the uh, web boys. So, you're going to need to unstack from Fancy Bro. And you're going to need to get on stage as one of the web boys. That is what we'll get the first one. Completos. Congratulations, you have passed the test one. Right, so what we need to do now is go straight into one of these web boys. Oh, the hillbilly boys like it when a good youngin's inside them. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm... That was just... just sorry. That, that was a terrible joke. Anyway, get inside... Get away from me. Not you. Anyway, there we go. Get inside one of the web boys. Now we need to go back to the artistic makeover shop. So, from here then, what we can do is head... Up the steps, onto the second uh, deck, of course. Go straight through, past the uh, little dining area bit, and again, just press the... Uh, you need to get them both to have a makeover, by the way. So we will need to press the X button to talk to him. You need to give them both makeovers, plus this will also give us three of the five makeovers required for the Masquerade Ball Hijinks Challenge. Ah, 
I look real pretty, Ma. Hell yeah, dog. So, three out of five done. We will finish the other two a little bit later on. Damn, that is a scary looking hillbilly. They look better with just the hair out. So, obviously, now what we need to do is just head back down, go to the Buried Treasure Club, to the right here, climb on stage, and that's two out of three completos aroni. Hey, now we need to help one more time. And what we're going to do, uh, stack into anyone, of course, that you want first. And we're actually going to get into hands right there. Now, what we're going to do is toss the cookies. So throw up cookies next to the pirate. Get inside one of the web boys. And then when the pirate moves, we are going to get inside of the pirate. There he goes. So make sure to stack in the pirate. That's pirate Chuck. So you should be on 25 out of 27. Um... So what we can do now is actually use Pirate Chuck's Yar ability on dolls to make them faint. Some faint, some don't, so just go around until you get the hijinks complete. So once you've scared the living day crap out of everyone, now we can just head straight in to the um, Buried Treasure Club. Once again, we're going to yard the bouncer at the door. That's how he gets us in. Um, and then once inside again, all you got to do as one of the web boys, get on side, get on stage, sorry, and that'll be that. We will now get the ship solver achievement for finding all the solutions to all the Gilded Steam ship challenges. Now just a couple of hijinks ones left. So we have to now get two more kids to go over to the artist makeover shop um, and get the, uh, whichever one it's called, the bot Masquerade Ball achievement done. So that is what we are going to do. So what I'm doing now, now obviously sometimes I will be sort of walking around. Uh, if it looks like I'm doing it aimlessly, I'm just looking for a specific thing or a specific doll. Obviously this time we are looking for a child. So if you already have a child, of course, you can either pause the video or go straight to the artistic makeover shop. So, as you've seen, I tried doing it with the golden sl glove slap guy, but obviously it didn't work. Um, this French guy wanted kids all alone in his room for some reason. Anyway, after you've got that one, go ahead into this pirate shop, or this anchor shop. And then what we're going to do, we're going to stack into the doll, which is inside of this shop. So, if you are just Am's child, uh, we're going to stack into one of these big broskies. Head back to the pirate shop, the pirate anchor shop. Dropping pirate anchors in Poo Bay, oh yes. Um, <laughs> here we go. So that's 26 out of 27 now for dropped anchor Drew. Huh, that's funny. And now what we need to do is actually just drop anchor, use his drop anchor ability on five female dolls. So just find a couple of girls, children, adults, it doesn't matter. Just drop your anchor by them. It's the anchor of love. That is how sailors um, want to get on you. So if somebody drops an anchor by you, you know that sailor wants a piece of you, man. Or woman. So after this is done, we should now be able to basically just head back now to where we uh, started or can actually finish the level. Where everyone's just chilling, the adventures and everything. And then what we need to do is actually just get inside Captain Swing. <laughs> Captain Swing. 
Here we go. Once that is done, that should be 27 out of 27 complete. And the doll fancier achievement should unlock. And we are almost done with this. All we got to do now is just hit stewards with the cork gun. As Professor Rams is right here. So it's not just specific people. You have to find stewards. Now, stewards are anyone with the white jackets on. So basically the one right in front of us. The one with lion masks on. So anyone with a... What looks like a steward with a white jacket on right there. Just give him a shoot. And uh, you need to do this with 10 people. Once that's done, you'll get the maritime merriment achievement for completing all hijinks on the steamship. Hooray! I do apologize, we do have one more left to go. We have to go as the professor who can mummify things. We obviously didn't uh, get that earlier on. So uh, get back inside Mr. Shooty Man, get inside Professor Habitant, and then just go ahead. No, it's not, no, not that one. Sorry, it's the smaller one. Sorry, it's not Habitant. Blah, blah, blah. It's this little lady right here. So just go ahead, mummify five dolls. And then that should get you the Maritime Merriment Achievement. And then we can finally leave this ship. Finally, mate, we got it. Maritime memory, merriment all done. Now we can just go ahead and get ourselves out of here. So, yes, we're going to go back to the Royal Train Station. And we have, once again, we've got quite a few things to do uh, in terms of hijinxes and getting families back together, etc., etc. So, once again, hello Mr. Levi, the homeless broski. Home, ho bro. Ah, ho bro. Uh, again, all you're going to be doing is following the uh, same path in order to get to the main concourse, the train station part, if you remember from earlier. Linear path, I swear down. So if you're wondering who I am looking for, it is the lady who is nowhere near there. 
she's just up this part here. There she is, Lydia uh, Ludmila Allendorf. Yes, who is the uh, apparently a child. Um, yeah, a little girl doll. Apparently that's a little girl doll. It's like a big girl doll. But anyway, make sure you get inside Ludmila. Lud Lud Ludmila. And then head straight. And we're going to go down and we're going to see our little brother. Or oh, Hans bag. So, again, we need to now stack into Hans. And that'll be yet another unique doll for this level. Number 12 out of 18. Go, uh... <laughs> Go inside your sister. It's not too many times I'm going to be saying that one. Oh, God, don't shut me down, YouTube. In fact, let's get out of our sister. Let's roam. So, roam. But we do need to go inside the bathroom. Press the A button any way you want to go party. And that will get us uh, a little relieved hijinks done. Then what we can do is talk to dolls in both of the bathrooms here. So the first one, obviously, the man, he's going to be like, Oh, hey, that's some, uh, that's some great piss in there, dude. Congratulations. Then head to the right when we get out and speak to the woman who's going to be like, Oh, oh, why are you so full of chocolate? Chocolate. And there we go. Job done. Right. Now we need to stack back inside our sister. I really don't want to be saying that. No, let's just say uh, her name. So we need to go back to Ludmilia. Now, uh, a lot of the times, if they're waiting there for a while, they'll just go back to the original location, wherever they were. So if you can't find them... That's the original location. So what we need to do, we're going to head up the stairs right here, go into the next area. And the next area is going to be... All the way right over Mia somewhere. That's not the Widow Chastity. Nope, that's not our mother. She is. She's going to be around here somewhere, though. There she is, man. Who we got earlier. Now... Like I said, if you didn't manage to get it earlier, obviously it will now, she will now count as uh, one of your unique character dolls. Again, if you didn't stack inside her earlier. But anyway, that is all of the um, Alan Dwarf family done. No papa. Oh, no, no papa. So, a few puzzle, a little puzzle to do now. Hello, my German friends. So, turn around and directly, not in front of us there, but in front of us now is the uh, train line. Now, we have to... Do, um, uh, we basically got to sort the lines three times with different things in order to get the VIP his ticket. So first of all then, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, move the various dolls. So, what the sort of... The, right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. So the large dolls basically go right in the centre. Large dolls in the centre. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Doesn't matter where you place them as long as they are in the centre. Um, the medium-sized dolls will go in either of the next two lines. So where the large dolls are, either to the right or left, you can go ahead and put those medium dolls in. And finally, for the teensy tiny children, they've just got to be on the very outside lines. So again... Doesn't matter if it's on the very left or the very right hand side, just make sure to put these small little wiener kids on either side there. And that will get the first one done. Line assembly, line assembly production, sorry. So, unos out of trios, complotos. So what we need to do then is we need to stack into Merryweather poop more. And we need to flatulate on the crowd. Um, so he's going to be here. So, so we can stack into one of these. That's fine. If he's not standing around, he will just be roaming around the area. Again, if you can't remember um, which names and what they look like, obviously you can just go ahead and look at the pictures there on the collection. So obviously, remember Merryweather, there is the bald Malteser looking guy with an ass that could pound and kill animals for days. There he is. Just having a little walk around. So once you uh, grab him, we need to basically take a dump on the crowd. Yeah. So, go and do it. Oh man, that is enough to get everyone out the bank right there. 
And uh, so what we're actually going to do now, we're going to stay as Merryweather for a minute. We're going to actually uh, poop on old dolls. So old dolls. So again, this isn't just any random ones. You have to find any old dolls with grey hair. And once you've done five, that will be another hijinks completo. So yeah, it might actually just take a little bit of time there because obviously there's a bunch of old people walking around and they are quite good at being slow. <clears throat> and having no teeth and stuff. Unless they do have teeth. So, what we need to do now then, um, we've also just um, got inside the Union Striker Ginger Guy. He is Strike Leader Chelsea and that is another unique doll. Uh, so what we actually have to do in order to now get the second challenge complete what we need to do is go back into... Oh, are we not going to do that one? No, we're going to uppercut them first, sorry. So, before we do that one, what we're going to do, sorry, is head into the boxer. Again, there should be one. If he didn't come up to you like you just did for me, there will be one just uh, chilling around, walking around. So we need to go into the Royal Lounge and give proper uppercuts to five dolls. This is basically for saying, speak properly and stop talking like the arts. Does not your one two ox, you know? That's a lot of bloody effort. Hmm. So, once that one is done, we are actually going to stack with the host and use his abilities. So, obviously, the host is the guy in the middle, the one with the incredibly crappy eyebrows. Where have you got them, those? <laughs> where have you got them brows done, bro? It's, it's it not good. So, just go ahead and press the A button on five different dolls here to get that hijinks patronize or patronize complete. So we should now be on 14 of the unique dolls, by the way. So once this is done, very, again, nice and very easy one. Uh, we're going to head back inside the boxer. Yep, everyone's good. To, to head back inside of the boxer, man. Oh, look at him. He's gone now. Now you've got to find him again. Oh, man, I suck. Sorry. I come back here. All right, thanks very much. Right, what we need to do now is uh, just give a proper uppercut to all of the dolls in the line. Each one that gets hit moves into the correct position. So smash and grab, smash, 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 until uh, the next cutscene appears. Remember, don't do a Mike Tyson and bite your opponent's ear off. Not yet, anyway. I wouldn't say that to Mike Tyson, though. He is still smashive. Now, lastly, but not leastly. So, what we are going to do, we now need to head inside. So, basically, what we have to do now, in order to get Strike Leader Chelsea to organise the crowd, we need to get back into 
Merryweather Poopmore. Because uh, he can't organize it like that. You need to disperse the crowd first. And then you can organize it. So, uh, get into Poopmore's butt. Obviously, we're going to press the A button here to flash your lot. And then quickly jump out. Go and in, get in, uh, stack inside st the strike leader, Chelsea. And then press the A button to organize. Everyone gets in position. That is the third one complete. Yay! Ah. Right then, brother. Once that is done, we're going to type a couple more uh, ends that we need to tie up. And then we can leave for the next area. So, we're going to stack into Widow Chastity, wherever she is, wherever you can find her. And basically, we need to use her seduce ability on a male doll. So, let's go and find her. You can always tell where she is, because damn, baby, damn hips. So, we need to do that. We, need to, we, we will seduce the Royal Guard. Boom, boom. Damn. him. And now there should be two guys, the little worker guy and another guy over here. What you need to do is just seduce all three at the same time. So if you can sort of get in front of their faces, there we go, seduce three out of them at once. In fact, you don't even have to look as good as that. You could look, you could literally look like uh, a potato. You, you could literally be a potato, sorry. And um, every man will find you attractive as long as you're flirting with us. It's just programmed in our brains, I'm afraid. So, go ahead and find this guy then. The, uh, not this guy, sorry, but the black top hat guy. Which is this guy right here, and he is Solicitor Barnabas. He is number 15 out of 18 for Unique Dolls. Now, what you have to do is just go around and talk to adult women. So, just press the X button next to adult women. Don't try and chat up any little girls, because again, that will result in an incredible prison sentence. And you will be beating the crap out of gladfully. Oh yes, it's rather it's a nice gold pipe there, isn't it? So, uh, once you are done, we can now, um, now, luckily, I was already this uh, little girl in the white dress, not in real life, but if you wanted to know which one it is, it's the one with the blue sort of scarf handkerchief thing hanging around her neck. So all you need to do is find five other, five other kids, press the A button to tag them, and that'll be the You're It hijinks complete. And again then, when that is complete, what we can do now is stack into the judge. So we've completed our objective, we've done everything we can in this area. So, let's go ahead, get into some other people, and get straight into the judge. Yeah, there he is, right at the ticket line. Why can I find nobody to stack into? Ah, hello! Right, so what we can do is now... Uh, as we have gotten into the judge, we can use his Deliver Justice ability on five dolls. Again, any five dolls that you want. Plus, obviously, we get the Judge Mean Tall. Ah, ju judge Mental. Judge Mean Tall. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, and that will be done. Once you have got all five of these, what we can do is head back into the main train station bit, where all the trains are, to uh, go into the next level. But, of course, you need to do it as the judge. I accidentally... The thing I kept doing with this game is, I kept making mistakes, such as... I was getting out of a doll, trying to talk and trying to find out where to go next, but you actually have to be inside that specific doll that we were already in. So, stay inside Judgmental, and then, uh, yeah, go to the train. Go to the right-hand side of the train, speak to the conductor, let's get it on. <laughs>
Welcome to the Zeppelin! We got fun and games! Right, first things first, head to the left pen right here. Stack in to mix uh, Spice Girl Jane, sorry. So Spice Girl Jane, and then press the A button right next to these little kitty stinks right here. And the first bully with a pan on his head will come over and be like, Right, we're surely, we're surely wreck it. Uh, so stack out, go to the next pen, which is over on the right hand side. Uh, get into Hans Allendorf, who is now a batter boy. Again, press the A button to mix batter, and the next bully will appear. Right, so once both of the bullies are distracted, we can now go ahead and stack into the ambassador. Old, uh, there he is. Ah, Napoleon Dynamite, isn't he? Oh, sorry. Ambassador Bon Appetit. <laughs> Funny. Press the A button to rally the troops, and the kids will attack the chef. Easy stuff, Rev. Easy stuff. So, obviously, now we've got free range of a whole bunch of stuff. So, now we're going to get off and free the other ambassadors. So, we're going to head up the steps into the dining room. And, yeah, it's a busy one. It is a busy one. But what we're going to do is head all the way down to the opposite side. Damn. Snoo snoo right there. Uh, and as you can see, just next to the signs there with the air exchange room is... Merryweather Gold, another f another person who, of course, you will know, who craps his pants like there is no tomorrow. So what we need to do then, we need to stack into Merryweather and then unstack and stack into the woman in pink, who is called Felicity Fowler. So you just need to get a couple of stackings going. Here we go. So it doesn't matter which order you do it in, stack into Merry Go uh, Merryweather first. That should be now... Um, uh, four unique dolls out of 24 and then the next one will be Felicity Faulier. So Felicity Faulier. So that should be number five. She farts, but she farts flowers. So it's kind of like South Park with a Terence and Philip episode where, you know, oh, <laughs> of course, we need to, um, where is Terence and Philip fart? Uh, the Canadian women like to quiff, as it were. So make sure to use your flower power or oh, the past potpourri, sorry. Popery on dolls. Once you have gotten that hijinx, we are free to go. So, we're going to take Felicity through the entryway here into this uh, sort of fan service room and air exchange room, etc, etc, etc. So, what you need to do then, from here, we will go down and head into the only open door. Okay, there's two open doors, but not that one. This one on the right-hand side. Now, uh... All you got to do then is get close to the gas, but not in it. If you do get in the gas, you will just pass out and uh, start a little bit further back. Um, so get sort of as close as you can. If it doesn't work the first time, just go a little bit closer and try again. And there we go. Instead of smelling of gas, Terence and Phillips style, it'll smell of Canadian women's quaff. Uh, yeah, just quaff. That's disgusting. Not any more than you farting. And if you've seen South Park, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. So that's the first one uh, done. So what we're going to do now is return to the dining room and stack into Mrs. Snoo Snoo, the opera singer. You know exactly which one I'm on about because we passed her. Uh, there she is, Prima Donna Wilhelmina. So, uh, she's got another hijinks uh, to do. We need to break glass by singing. So, what you need to do then is head up basically to the sort of dining area up here. Just go onto each table, press the A button to sing. And break all five glasses. So once your incredible voice has go compared, go compared. Yeah, <laughs> British people know that advert. Everyone used to love it. 
Anyway, we're going back into the air exchange room now. So, again, obviously head to the left. And again, obviously just try and get as close as you can to the gas. Once you are close enough, you are going to sing. She'll take a deep breath and suck in the gas, which will be number two out of four for getting rid of the gassy ass. It does mean that she faints, but, you know, apparently I think she's taken worse than a little bit of gas. Right, so what we can do now is in the fan service room over here, we're going to go through the little uh, small gap. We're going to snack into the maintenance steward. There should be one right at the very end. Hello. Um, you can get in all three if you want. It doesn't make a difference which. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and maintain the panel, which is just located next to the door that we came in to open it. There you go. It's got a little wrench slash spanner sign on it. There it is. So once you've done that, the door will open. And what, we can, what we're actually going to do now, we need to stack any four Zeppelin stewards together. So you need to find any steward doll that you can stack into. Again, it doesn't have to be a maintenance steward. Any steward will do. And you can pretty much find one up where everyone is dining at the top. Um, and you'll see a couple of white jacketed stewards up there. Or there was another maintenance steward in the corner anyway. So, all good. Whichever way you do it, you should now get that hijinks for stacking any four Zeppelin together. Now, we're going to unstack down to the smallest little maintenance steward. And we need to stack into a doll with balloons on his head. Now, there are a couple about. Again, up on the sort of top section right here. If you have a look to your right, you will see that there is a couple of balloon boys. Uh, which I obviously missed these first two times. Uh, if not, we can just go back into the fan service room, and there should be one right there. So, once we have them, then, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, head to the right. We're basically going to go back up to the top section. Now, there are two places where we can fly up. So, if we head slightly to the left, just keep spamming the A button. It's probably easier just to do that. You see where the fans are, and we will just uh, fly up. Then what we can do is just turn around, and we can just drop back down. And as you can see, where the other balloon is then, so if you just uh, sort of stay here, keep spamming the A button. And there we go. That will be an, the next hijinks done. Flying balloon waiters to both waiter stations. I don't know why... The weight station's up in the air, but, you know. It's just the way it is. Billion, million, million. All right, so drop back down then. Uh, now, with... Uh, now, obviously, you've still got to make sure that the smaller maintenance steward is still inside. So now we can head into the fan service room. There we go. Head to the fan service room. We're going to press the A button on the grate here to fly up to the station. So you'll get a little bit of a nice boost. And then we can take the maintenance steward through the opening so we can unstack, take the maintenance steward here and maintain this one. That'll be the third out of four for getting rid of the Gathia. Gathia. Right, so next up then, uh, nobody likes mimes, right? You know, mimes, the weird people that get in your face and start pretending like there's a wall there and they're all like, you can't see my facial expressions, of course, because um, I'm just a voice. But you you know how mimes are. So we need to smash a couple of them. Now, you can do this with either uh, a Northern Kiss or a Purse Smash. Now, there are two characters who have a Purse Smash and the Northern Kiss. This is the one guy, old big Scottish guy with the kilt, who does the Northern Kiss. And this is the lady with the Purse Smash. So it depends, really, uh, obviously, a Northern Kiss. If you're Scottish, you'll know. It's basically a headbutt. Um, and a purse smash, everyone knows what a purse smash is. So, there are four mines located in this area. Um, and they're all going to be sort of um, floating about the place. One is usually at this table here, making people laugh. They don't really make people laugh. Um, so, just uh, keep walking around. For some reason, it, it, it took me 
about two or three minutes to find all four mines. They are just in this specific area. Um, and obviously, you'll know when you've hit the same one, because when you hit the same one, you don't get the credit for it. So, yeah, just keep walking around for a sec, <laughs> for a couple of seconds, and hit all four mimes that you see. The what? Another one we will get later on. So, as you can tell by the edit, it did take me a little while to find that fourth one, you son of a sneaky... Anyway, when we've done that, we can take our purse lady back into the air exchange room, uh, head into the emergency room to our left, and we can actually stack in with it. Uh, that'll get us the unique doll, 7 out of 24, for Hazard Suit. The Aiden Hazard Suit. Uh, the Real Madrid Aiden Hazard. This is the wrong room, by the way. We need to go into the left-hand side room, uh, where the big... Grassy Gassias is located. There we go. So we can actually just walk straight through this because we've got the suit on. And we can just pop out and give that the purse smash of life. Like I said, uh, you'll get the collection there for the hazard suit. And we will finally get rid of the gas. All for now be completed. Right. So now we can just head towards the summit room. So that'll be down the steps and following a pretty linear path. Again, remember to use the right bumper to use your... Intuition. How posh. Uh, if you want to know where to go. But it's basically here. So, yeah. We done it, baby. So, time to free the next ambassador. Okay. Right. So, what we're going to do now, um, we need to uh, stack into uh, Willy. We'll just call him Willy from The Simpsons, isn't it? Ah. I'm from Edinburgh. Uh, so we basically need to stack into him. I'm actually just trying to find someone in order to stack into. So I can get into. Uh, ah, Edinburgh. Willy man. There's one. So you can always just get the waiters with the um, kettles on their head. And then the one of the maintenance guys. And where is he? Where is he? There he is. Look, so give him, uh, give the bell the northern kiss when you were inside. Sorry, there was a bit of an edit there. You just had to turn around to the left. Cromwell the Magnific uh, Magnificent will appear. And then we can just go straight into him. And then uh, what you can do is... Uh, now, what we're actually going to start doing is giving dolls the royal wedgie. So just go up to ten different dolls and give them all the wedgie of a lifetime. That will cut your genitalia off, no doubt. Look at him. I know him. Once that's done, as you can see, we get a pair of golden underpants on our head. That is to show how strong you really are. So if you can bench uh, 300 kilos, you should get some underpants on your head. Anyway, go up to the door, use the royal wedgie on the door, and that will be the first one out of three that we can do. Um, and obviously, we get Cromwell, the terribly, handsomely massive guy, uh, in uh, for a collection as well, for our unique dolls. So uh, get rid of the cutscene here. We are now going to stack into a maintenance steward, which uh, there's one. So we can just stick, uh, get into the kettle, bro, get into the maintenance, bro. And just to the right of the gate here is a panel. We are going to maintain it. There we go. And then we can see the hand on a stick, which is obviously dropped. So we need to stack into the gentleman, the posh guy. Um, and his unique ability is a firm handshake. It's this guy right here. Hello, I'm Mr. Mustache Man. So, go up to the hand, give him a fir her firm handshake. That there was something else in between those hands. That would have been even funnier, but never mind. That'll be the second challenge completed. So now what we need to do then is we need to go into the little room here where it says crew quarters. And we uh, will go up the steps. And then what we're going to find is a bright blue and green dress doll. That one there that we need to stack into. But if you come all the way back here, then we can stack into Thad. 
If you don't get Thad now, that's fine. We'll get him a bit later on, but let's just get him out of the way now. So stack into Thad. You will need to stack into somebody else in order to get the uh, blight blue and green dress. There they are. There we go. Maintenance bro will do. There we go. And that is Porsche Peacock. Porsche Smallcock. There we go. Job done. So we still need Mrs. Uh, Smallcock to go to the end of the uh, hallway right here. And then what uh, what you need to do is just use Porsche's Fan Feathers ability. So as soon as we're here, um, you might, again, sometimes it may not work. You might just have to move a little left, a little to the left, a little to the right. Anyway, this small cock peacock will come down, drop, uh, unstack yourself, and then you can stack yourself into the peacock. So that'll get you the next, uh, that should be 11 out of 24 now, unique dolls. So, uh, just where you were then, use the fly to nest ability. And you go to go back on top, and then what you can do is actually just drop into the enclosed area. Fly, monkey, it's a leap of faith. There we go. And then we're going to unstack ourselves, because we're going to go into the maintenance guard, and then we're going to um, use uh, maintain the panel to the left of the gate. There it is. Ta-da! And that is the inside job all completo. Three out of three, all done. Right, what we need to do as well is we need to get the gatekeeper here. He is a big Marge Simpson looking bro. So stack into everyone you can and then stack straight into the gatekeeper for number 12. You're a mean one, Mr. Gatekeeper. You really have a big heart. Right, so uh, we can just continue on down this linear path right here. You don't actually need to be the gatekeeper anymore, so you can just whap out of the gatekeeper if you want. Here is the main summit room, um, and there will be a little opening in the door which we need to take Charlie through. So, uh, Charlie Blackmo. So that's why we don't really need to be walking as slow as we are with the gatekeeper. And there it is. Look at that. Nice little mouse hole for Charlie to sneak through. Tiny little Russian doll. Right, so what we're going to do, we uh, need to get close enough to the guard here. He will see us. He will lock us up. That is fine. But our next challenge is to break ourselves and the next ambassador out. So what we need to do when we are all... Yeah? Nasty, man. We've got a couple of other prison guards, but it looks like a fun bit of break right here. What we need to do, though, we need to stack into the fireman. Uh, so we, uh, first of all, need to get inside of the police officer to get another unique doll, and then fire chief George Russell. Blimey. core blimey. If you know Formula One, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. Uh, but that should get another two added to your collection there. So use the spray hose ability on the fire. While it is in progress, quickly unstack from Charlie, or to Charlie, and then go um, straight through again. Because if you uh, t if you take too long there, the fire will rise and then you'll just sort of uh, burn your little teensy tiny hat up. Right, so from here then, what we need to do, we're going to walk around to the guard. Now, this bit confused me because I thought that we got caught, but it's not that at all. It's just another cutscene. Um, so yeah, I thought we got caught and then I just got confused because I didn't know what to do. But it turns out because this is just a cutscene, we actually need to get caught again. So... Come on, there we go. So out of the frying pan is done. So what we need to do is just uh, continue on around. So here we go. Best of the little fishies. Go to the left here, and he's going to be like, here he is. Get him. Got him. Get him. Job done. Right, we are going to stack into the steward. And we're going to walk into the dominoes. And the dominoes should be right in front of us right there as soon as we... Get your bum inside George Russell and then yep, there we go not the dominoes which are directly in front of us What that's gonna do is get the pelican that comes down. So we need to stack into El Pelicano There you go El Pelicano You are mano Fly to the nest. You should be able to do it from here Right, okay, maybe not 
I mean, you're trying to fly in here, but all right, there we go. So it's a, it's around that area. And then we can just break out of the brig. All we got to do is just drop down. And it's going to be like, oh my God, what the hell, man? And that'll be the Birdman of Brig challenge done. So we've only got one more left to do, which we will do now. So again, we're going to get caught. Oh man, he's big. God dang. You're big. So after this one again, we are going to stack back into El Steward. There's one. There's a two. And stack your buns in the steward. What you're going to do is actually just push. Uh, you can just walk straight into it. That'll push it along. That is all you need. And then what you need to do, uh, you need to unstack now to Charlie. And then stack him into the bellows where we will call the guard. Now, it's directly in front of us on the wall, um, which we just were. For some reason, I was having a hard time remembering what a bellow was until I jumped on it. But it's not here. Don't walk into the fire for God's sake. It's on this wall. There it is. Look tidy. So keep mashing the A button. Guard will come in and be like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do, uh, since we are now done with this part, we can um, just go up the stairs. Now, it might be worth, it, it is actually worth um, taking cover or, or getting inside someone here because the guards, you'll get a cutscene now, but basically the guards are consistently after you now. So if they see you, they will catch you. Uh, so if they do catch you, just stack into another doll and they'll be like, I don't know where you went. So first things first then, we've just stacked into the photographer doll. We just basically have to now use his flash photo ability on 10 unique dolls to get that hijinks complete. And once you've uh, blinded everyone with pepper spray and photography, what we need to do is just take a photo of the monkey now as it comes around. So when the monkey's on the bike or on the track or whatever the hell they're on comes around, just keep spamming the A button. And then, la la, bam, bam. There we go, and that'll be the first one. Again, you would have got a cutscene as well. Um, now, when I was exploring, I had obviously got a, Got, got those two cutscenes. That's why you didn't see it on my screen. You will, of course, get those cutscenes telling you what to do. But that is the challenge for stopping that car. One out of five. And then uh, what we are going to do... In fact, actually, before... We can't complete any of the solutions now because the game is basically going to force the story along, which is fine, just fine. We're going to get a whole bunch of collections and some uh, uh, another bit of hijinks done now. So we need to stack the ambassadors together. So there we go. Just go from smallest to largest. And then what we're going to get, we're going to get uh, Ambassador Osman first. Then into the next one, we're going to get Ambassador Log. <laughs> Log. And then we are going to use... In fact, what we're going to do first is we're going to write on five of our pals right here to get these scribbled on hijinks. Nicey slicey, you guys. Right, next one we will jump into Ambassador Chaka. And then finally, Ambassador Roll. And that should that should now put you on 18 out of 24 of the unique dolls. Right, so what we're doing is basically following a linear path now. Uh, we're just following the objective marker to the emergency exit. Use the key to the city. Continue along to the bellows room. Use the key city again. And then we will come back in a bit. So again, just follow... Uh, just follow the little path. That's a pretty good unique thing to have, mine. A key to the city. That'd be nice. Nice bit of fish just chilling there. Nice rotting. Proteins, proteins, bros. So, once we're in the bellows room then, this is, again, this is quite easy. All we got to do then, as Ambassador Roll, you see the big, massive, chunky bellow that we've got there. We need to stack him 
on the huge bellow. And sometimes it may be a little bit finicky. Then you just need to keep unstacking everyone. So keep unstacking everyone. They'll automatically start. And then with Charlie, what we need to do is go just underneath this bit. So even though we've got all massive ones, apparently it's not enough because Char uh, everyone needs Charlie's little uh, whimpery legs to finish it off from. So head underneath, stack, mash the A button here. And that is pretty much job done. Uh, this is now going to get us the Airship Adventurer achievement for completing the Zeppelin of Consequence adventure. But of course, we've got a bonus challenge and uh, quite a few other bits to do before leaving. So, congratulations. But we still got to do, man. We still got stuff to do. Right, so you can go straight forward and just end the level if you want. But what we're going to do is, uh, where you were just standing, we're basically just going to head to the left. So, up the steps. Because uh, what we need to do, we actually need to go back to the dog races. And this confused me to no end, because I could not find it for bloody ages. But it's literally just up the stairs on our right, through obviously this little hole. And, um, yep, yeah, through the left sort of circle archway door. And as you can see, dog races upstairs. Again, remember, there are guards that are patrolling. So, my god, you guys, make sure to stack into someone. Someone handsome, someone goddamn beautiful. Or, you know, you can just uh, go to the left and stack on this bellow right here and pump the hell out of it. Now, what this is going to do is actually, these are bananas. So we're going to get a bunch of banana bros. Okay, that'll do. Uh, now we need to stack into one of the banana vendors. So get yourself some biggie, chunky boys. And then finally, once that's done, stack yourself into one of the banana vendors. Then what you need to do is just go onto the track. And toss a banana on it. And kaboom! Monkey's going to be like, Ah, oh, yeah, I'm a monkey dog. I like bananas and stuff. Yeah. Right, so that's number two out of this done. Right, we need to now stack into a bugle player doll. And this is the bugle. It kind of looks like a, a, a saxophone that's been, um, you know, twisted a little bit. But this is the bugle player. Just in case you were wondering. So, you know, you need to now go up the set of stairs where we just entered. Uh, well, where, there they are anyway, right in front of us where we entered the dog race. We need to stack into the maintenance steward who's standing just in a walkway. There he is. So, hi, buddy. Let me get inside you again. Thanks. And then what we could do, we're going to maintain the panel here at the end of the walkway. The announcer will be all like, hey, what the hell are you doing, you son of a goddamn? And then what we can do, once he's over, we will unstack from the maintenance steward and we will play the bugle into the machine and that will be three out of five. Right, so next up then to get the fourth one done, what we need to do is just stand Charlie as close as we possibly can to the track. And we need to, so if we go up this little ramp here to the right of us, there's going to be a bunch of dogs racing around as well. So what I found easier is just keep spamming the A button and that will basically pretty much ensure that you will get on one of the dogs. And you don't have to worry about timing and being annoyed when they don't come round. So keep mashing the Y button now when you see the dogs. Bam, we're on one. So uh, press it, keep mashing the A button to fast run and then press the Y button when you can see the option to stack. Stack up again. So again, keep mashing the Y button so we can stack up to little monkey balls. Stack up again. And then just hit the A button there to apply the brakes. And that is stop that car. Four out of five. One left to do. Right, just so, just behind the stairs then that we use to get the, or to get to the dog track, is basically a little black and white doll with a styrofoam cup hanging from his head. So here he is, he should be around this area. Hello, you have a cup on your head. Okay, here's the equipment lan man, Linda. Lender? Linda? Whatever it is. It's 19 out of 24. So what we need to do, we're going to walk around the room until we reach a woman near a black lighting umbrella. That is not a woman. That's huge man. Huge director man. Quentin Tarantino, if this game was just full of feet. Um, there is the woman with the black... Sorry. Sorry, Quentin. 
So this one is Trixie. That should be now number 20 out of 24. We are going to continue the way we were going. Um, and we're going to stop and talk to the steward. This guy who has a spool on his head. So what we need to do is just keep... We need to do this basically four times. So we need to do it three times in order to get the zippity doo dah hijinks complete. And then a fourth time in order to just go back over. Man, what a ride. Thrilling, thrilling. Okay, so we're going to continue going around until we reach the uh, setup stairs. There's basically a cameraman underneath. So we'll continue to follow around. There we go. And then just underneath these setup stairs, there is the cameraman that we're going to get inside of. Hello, cameraman. So we're going to stack into him, and then we need to use his rolling ability to film 10 adult women. Because if it was filming children women... Oh, children, girls, that's another very, very easily arrestable offence, and you get beaten the crap out of very gladly as well. So, uh, find some women, uh, g girls on film. Two girls, one cup. Younger audiences will not know that, but uh, people in their mid-twenties and early-thirties will. Eek! Anyway, just go around and continue to film ten women until the uh, hijinks is complete. So hopefully you did that just a little bit quicker than me, but if not, it's all good. Um, so we now need to go back to uh, Joe, where we found cameraman Joe. So basically nearby is another black and white doll. Um, now what I ended up doing, in fact, actually we need to find another mine. That is why we haven't got the achievement unlocked. So do apologize, we need to get into either Skilt Scottish Man or we need to find another purse with woman bag, purse hitting ability. There is another mime in this room and it will be all the way at the top here. There he is, looks like a robber, but let's smash him up. There we go. Now we have completed all hijinks here, so we will get the dirigible daredevil achievement. Okay, so what we need to do now, um, obviously because we've just gone sort of out of our way to do that. Now, I messed up there. Do not come out of Cameraman Joe. So I messed up. For some reason, I took him out to go a little bit faster. Then I went into the, the firm handshake man. No, we need the full set of these characters. So that's why you uh, remain as Cameraman Joe, come to the end, and then stack into this Shakespeare-looking bro right here. A Donald Capulet, hilariously. Um, so once that one is done, we will return to the banana dispenser from earlier on, where the final member of the silent film set awaits in that big black umbrella, the old director. Now again, like I said, as long as you have kept Cameraman Joe in check, then you will get this one fine as well, and then the cutscene will automatically go nuts after you get Cecil Dumheel. Now, I'm a Dumheel for taking Cameraman Joe out, so that's why the... Cutscene didn't appear first, so with some uh, clever editory trickery, I've done it. Right, so once that one is done, 
we are now going to get the fifth and final challenge for stopping the car. So what we need to do then, uh, the silent film set now going to go up on a stage. So if you just saw, it was a bit of a edit jump. All we'll be doing is just walking forward, heading downstairs and coming onto the stage right here. For some reason, I couldn't find them for love nor money, but they were in front of my eyes this whole time. So we need to do basically stack into Cecil, the old Mr. Dumbheel. Not me this time, the actual Mr. Dumbheel. There we go, eventually. Come on, Don. What you doing, lad? Right, and then what we need to do, we ne now need to go to the raised walkway above the racetrack. So basically up the stairs where we found cameraman Joe. There we go. We're going to head to the right. And then we are going to use the action ability to make this guy wave the checkered flag. And that's it. Race done. Congratulations, monkey. You lose. All you lose. But before we crack on again, we need to go back to where the flag bearer was. So again, you're going to head not up the ramp, but all the way up the steps. And for some reason, Mr. Dumbheel, i.e. myself, decided to take the long way around for some particular reason. Because all we need to do is stack into this guy. So, for some reason, I went the long way around. So, I do apologize, but there we go. Uh, that should now get you 24 out of 24 unique dolls for this area. Doll Connoisseur achievement should unlock. So, that is good. Now, we're almost done with this bit, but we do just have to do the one bonus challenge. Wave the flag! Let's, uh... <laughs> That's more effort than a lot of celebrities who pretend to enjoy Formula One. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Tim bloody what's his crappy face in the Brazilian Grand Prix. Anyway, en enough of that. Enough, enough complaining. This is a happy occasion. Right, so basically we're going to head back through the door, back to the summit room. And from here, if you just continue on straight and go up the steps, you're going to get a little cutscene here where basically the bullies are getting Thad's teddy bear. Uh, again, I've obviously already done it. That's why you don't see it on screen, but you'll get a quick cutscene. Uh, so to get the first one, sorry, I'm going a bit quick here. But to get the first one, you just have to talk to the very left-hand side bully right there. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the left-hand side bully every single time. So, yeah. And obviously they're going to spin around, blah de blah de blah So what we need to do now, we are going to stack into a banana vendor who is nearby. So if you just look around, there we go. So we're going to have to stack up in a couple of bros and then get into the banana vendor. Once you have found the banana vendor quite appealing, ah, yeah, yeah, get it, appealing. Anyway, uh, you uh, have to toss the bananas to the bullies until basically you know which one of the three does it. He will say sort of different dialogue, so it can be a bit tricky to aim. So the one that says no peeking inside, I believe, is the one. No peeking inside. I would chew with my mouth closed, no peeking inside. So what you need to do then, pretty much it's effectively the middle one. So the one that says no peeking inside, and I wouldn't chew that, is basically the ones who don't have the bear. So it was the middle one every time. And then next up, and finally, what we're going to do is we're going to stack into Ambassador Osman. So obviously what we need to do... Why are you spinning around? You... Put your bellies away. No one but nobody wants to see that, Shh, bro. So here is Ambassador Osman then. So what you need to do is just stamp. I ended up stamping the left guy. And because it's uh, an official seal, um, you just talk to him. You'll start the shell game. Once they've stopped, 
you just need to talk to him. So you talk, they switch around, talk to the guy on the left, the one you've put the seal on, and that'll be it. Mr. Ruffles is complete. Thad with the biggest chin for a child I've ever seen. We'll get his Mr. Ruffles back and we will get the Blimp Buster achievement for finding all of the solutions to all of the Zeppelin of Consequences challenge. And now we can head back to the Royal Train Station for the last time. So, once you've seen the cutscenes, once you've seen everything, we're basically going to head back to the main part of the train station again, so you should be remembering the, um, uh, the, uh, blah, 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 the linear path in order to go to. Again, if you get stuck, obviously, as always, press the right bumper. So apparently nobody else has watches or clocks or anything, so we've got to help them out because everyone's too dumb. Right, so first of all then, what we're going to do, we are going to stack into the pelican. Now if you look to your left, there is the pelican. If it's not there, um, it will be walking around this immediate area again, so have a little look. But it should always just be standing there. So what we need to do then, we need to stack into the pelican, like I said, and fly to the nest above. It's pretty much around here somewhere, there it is. And then we can just simply unstack to the old Charlie Balls. Here we go. And then stack into the manual winder. Spam the A button to get that working. Clock work orange in like a big orange. Hmm. One down. Two to go. Right. So what we're going to do, uh, take, we're going to take Charlie through the small opening near a door. If we look to the left there, that is the uh, clock winding room. So uh, go through the little small opening. We are just going to go straight in front of us, stack into the door over right, and again, spam the A button until that goes all the way around. Get your buns off them, Charlie. Get out of it. Uh, so, we're going to exit the room, we're going to stack into a handshake man. Remember, he is the lovely looking gentleman with a glorious looking moustache, in all fairness. Um, so again, he may be standing around. He should be standing around, actually, just in front of us right there. So, always look for the moustache. And again, if you don't know who I'm talking about, remember, you can press the start button and go to the character collection screen in order to see who you're trying to find. So go in front of us for the manual winder, give him a grip and a firm hard... Oh, Jesus, he went straight through him then, didn't he? Whoa, hey! Anyway, that'll be winder clock two out of three. A gentleman on I wonder how posh Americans speak. I always take the mick out of English posh-speaking people, but I want to know what a, number, a posh American sounds like. Somebody, somebody get that for me, please. Right, so stack into the balloon waiter anyway. And then what we need to do is stack into the engineer, which is next to the Zeppelin, which is basically, remember, the train on the right-hand side. And obviously the engineer is big bro with a big hat. There we go. So stack into him then. Obviously you will get engineer cross as well for 17 out of 18. We've got one left for this. Uh, so what we are going to do is actually get his high jinx. We're almost going to get his high jinx, actually. This... Right here, the bigger, chunkier man is the uh, engineer that we're after. So you might need to stack into another large doll and then stack into him. Yeah. 
Once you do, we will get the Doll Hobbyist Achievement because that was the last unique doll of the train station, Engineer Switch. So all we need to do is just press the A button to use the crossing guard on a couple of, uh, well, five different dolls. That'll get us the Train Trickster Achievement as well for completing all the hijinks in the train station. Right, so... We've unstacked from Engineer Switch, and we need to position the Engineer Cross near the fans, uh, quite close to the uh, clock winding room. So once he blows the lid, uh, once he blows his lid on the fans, get the balloon waiter up and go straight up. So again, apologies, that was a little bit quick there. But that's how you need to do that one. So again, stand under the fan, press the A button to blow the lid, and then get the balloon boy straight out, and then press the A button to fly up. Then we can use Charlie to stop the clock, or wind the clock again. And this will also get us the Solution Sleuth achievement as well. God, remember when Xbox 360 achievements used to just unlock immediately? Instead of making us all bloody paranoid and waiting for literally like five minutes? Good times, good times. I remember that. I remember that too as an old man. So, here is the Triple Decker Tank engine. Seems like a hell of a chocolate bar. Um, but we're on our way to the next and final area. And, as you can see and imagine, we are on a train. It's quite a big train. No, it's not a, the Polar Express. No, it's not a party train either. We need to free some kid slaves. So, let's go ahead and do that. The, the spruce caboose. Right, so we're going to follow the objective marker. Again, it's a very sort of linear cutscene until we get... It's a very linear path until we get to the next cutscene, sorry. Charlie, your only hope, the tiniest doll in the world. So head up to this little bone cranking machine, um, pedal the dog feeder, and once one drops, la la, the dog will obviously come around and pick it up. So um, we can obviously stack inside. You're going to go inside a dog. Uh, don't arrest anyone uh, for the guard dog biscuits. Uh, that'll be one out of twenty-six for this level. So. What we need to do is um, go to the main gate, which will obviously be in the middle and not in the bloody left, like I just went. And fantastic. So, little cutting's going to happen, but we're going to get another two collections now. Spice Girl, Jane, and Thad, which is standing next to the guard dog. Now, there's only these three in here, so you can't exactly miss them. So, there is Spice Jane right in front of us. So, stacking her, that'll be two out of 26. And again, obviously, even though we've already got Thad in a previous level, because this is a new level, eh, you know, that's how it goes. So that's Unique Dolls, 3 out of 26. So, um, I, what we're going to do now, we're going to head to the right ever so slightly. Uh, that'll be the left, so I'll just try again. Ah, there we go, look right, we got it. So what you're going to see in this next room, then, is the bully with a pan on his head. Yes, that bully right there. Uh, so what we need to do is we're going to stack inside. A little cutscene is going to happen here. Basically, we're going to be rescuing our family. <laughs> Sickle the Slayer. Uh, so, before we do that, of course, what we're going to do is we're going to stack inside old Chunky Belly right here. Now, normally, the, guy, the kid or the adult, whatever, with the clown face is normally your next stack up. So, once we're in the uh, be Beast of the Belly, we're going to belly bump some child dolls. Now, there is going to be two, uh, one we've just done, and Spice Girl Jane, sorry dog. And then what we need to do then, as you'll be able to see in a second, there is no other kids on this side. There was a lot of chatter though, which is why I thought there was, but they're just upstairs in the spruce caboose. So to get the uh, next couple, we need to head up to the second floor of this train cart. And there's going to be a whole bunch of kids that we can smash out of the way with our chunky gut. has been done. Yep, we're all good now. Uh, we are going to go 
to the, um, well, since we're here, what we need to do actually is go into Hans Allendorf, you'll remember him from earlier, and then into the Fire Chief Russell, that'll get you number four and five. So once you, uh, basically you're going to get a cutscene and the combo abilities pop up as well. It'll basically tell you that sometimes you need to use two characters in order to do a thing. So we need to head down and then what we need to do is spray the hose on Sickle the Sly right here as we head down. And then immediately jump out and then blow the cold air onto Sickle with um, Hans Wallendorf. And then that's one out of four complete. Oh. So here we go again, here we go again. Right. So next up then we are going to uh, return to the second level and we're going to stack ourselves into the large, very big sneezing doll with the water bottles on his head. You'll be able to see him. He is in the middle of this room. His name is... Sir Sully taint well. Yeah, he pretty much ain't well there. Uh, so <laughs> we need to get in. Uh, so follow the sneezes. Where is he? There he is. So pop him in. There we go. So what we need to do now is get a hijink. Serving soup to any infected doll. So what you need to do is quickly get, get one of the soup boys. And there we go. So you need to basically have one of these soup boys at the ready. You need to sneeze on him with uh, Sir Sully and then quickly give soup to the infected people. Uh, again, I miss it the first time. If you miss it, that's fine. Just uh, try it again, and you'll uh, have no problem. Uh, but that will give you... Again, I do apologize if some of these are quite quick. Um, I thought I was doing them quite slow, but as it turns out, not. So, um, we need to drop down. We've infected one of the nearby dolls. We need to stack into the infected doll and walk straight at the sickle to get the cutscene going. This guy is COVID paranoid. Probably wears masks while he's driving as well. Eh, uh, just joking. Uh, you know, you do what you want, of course. Right, so next up, we're going to return back to the second level. We're going to stack into another super bold child. This guy. That'll do. Next, we need to take the child all the way up to the third level of this particular car. Now, if you go to the opposite end of the room and then turn right, that is where you'll see the ramp. Sorry, I just wanted to burn someone with soup. Meh, 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 meh. So as you walk in and then head to the right, you're going to get an automatic cutscene where a pigeon is going to uh, poop on you. Be aware that there is a guard here as well. So if you are um, at Charlie, he will obviously catch you. There's also a hijinx. Um, thing that we need to do. So basically escaping from the guards without being caught. So we've got poop in our soup. Ah, we got poop soup. So, um, again, we'll come back up in just a little minute anyway. We'll uh, just feed the poop soup. we got to come back up anyway to get through to the next train cart. So for now, let us just continue on and head all the way back downstairs and just serve the soup to sickle the pie. <laughs> sickle is now a poopsicle. A poop soup sickle, if you wish. If you will. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one for me. Right, so we are going to now head back up the stairs. Uh, well, back up the ramp, sorry. Up to the second level here. Now, uh, what are you going to do this time? So, for the last one, what we need to do, we need to get another soup boy and get Sir Sully to uh, basically sneeze in it. But what we're going to do first, I'm going to show you how to do the hijinks. Now, there are four guards all dotted around the areas. I'll obviously tell you which one they are. So, get into Soup Boy. Wait until the guards at the opposite end of the room. Uh, now, I did actually make a mistake with this one. So, uh, the, the pigeons pooped in our soup. So, we need to get a new Soup Boy. Anyway, wait until he says stop and he starts chasing us. And then immediately uh, stack in. And there we go. He'll be like, oh man, I just didn't see anything. Where the hell did everyone go? Eh, oh well, I could cheer you on my way. And that's the first of the fourth one. So, if you did come up here and just do that, make sure to get another soup boy. Because you can't have sneezy snot soup and poop soup at the same time. So, that's why I, there was a little bit of an edit there. Because I just uh, 
turned it into a new soup boy. It's plenty dotted around anyway. Now what you're supposed to do, you can either just stay and stand right in front of him. Sometimes it'll work. Uh, a lot of times it pretty much won't. But then what we need to do instead, if this doesn't work by standing in front of him, we'll just put the soup boy uh, directly or just stand in wherever you want. Stack into William and then you're just going to have to sneeze on it yourself. <laughs> There we go. So we got there in the end. Uh, for some reason, I was slightly confused about absolutely nothing. Uh, but once we've got there, then what you need to do is get into the Snot Boy with Snot Soup and head straight downstairs and you can defeat Snotsicle, the Snot Sly. Right now, boys and girls, that is that one done. So Pigeon Bisque and Snot Soup is done. So now we can just go ahead and head up to the next train car. Now, uh, this sort of, for some reason, confused me a little bit first. Uh, but what we need to do is head all the way up to the third floor. Remember that the guard is up there. So what I would do is just go and get yourself. I ended up just going inside of this waiter. She was very nice to me. Uh, she flirted with me. So that's why I went inside. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's disgusting. Ugh, I stink at jokes. Uh, but we head up, and we can just go straight through to the next train car, which will be over here. Hello. So what we need to find then is another maid waitress with uh, a feather duster. Uh, so that is what we're going to do. Um, also, we are going to get the widow chastity in just a bit. But first of all, there she is. So just make sure whenever you see the maid there with the feather duster, just stack yourself into her. There we go then. We got there eventually, didn't we? Right, so what we can do now, we're going to continue going down to the second floor. So uh, now this is a females only area. So the only way you can get into this gated area is by being a lady. -er. A uh, couple of bullies there. We'll just ignore them for now. She's going to be like, Yeah, you get in. Go on, sister. Stay as long as you won't. Now, the Widow Chastity is in this room. She is basically by the other double gates. So if we just head forward, you can just see her standing alone right there. So make sure to go inside of the Widow Chastity, the old hip lady, uh, to get uh, Unique Doll 7 out of 26. You will need the Feather Duster Lady. Because uh, obviously, even though you're a clown face, they know you're not no woman. So make sure to go in and just grab the maid feather duster little lardy art once again. And we can just head down. There's going to be another cutscene, of course. Uh, just explaining that we got to get past Tiberius this time. Uh, but basically after this cutscene, just go straight up to him and feather dust to tickle him. Your papa would be so proud. Spank you. Right, so uh, we need to get a soup bowl boy who is right here. That'll do. Um, now, just to the left of where we were standing, there is a bunch of pigeons perched. You'll see them just in front of us. It's just to the right of Tiberius, the snake Snerius. Uh, pigeons going to drop down. There we go. And then what we need to do is stack into the pigeon. 
So unstack yourself from the Soup Bowl Boy's bum, get into the pigeon, and f fly to the nest onto Tiberius's chunky old head. That'll be two out of three. Nice and easy, that one. And lastly, but not leastly then, what we need to do is return to the first level of this train car. So we're being soup boy, but we don't actually need to... Be oh, in fact, actually, before we do this, sorry, what we're going to do is we're going to stack ourselves up with Clown Boy right here before we head back. Uh, head into the Feather Made Dust Tickler Lady R. And, uh... Yeah, never mind, sorry. Sorry, no, we're not uh, stacking up with the other people yet. We needed to be the... We needed to get past this as a female doll, of course. So heading all the way up back to uh, level three, and then what we need to do there's a there's a uh, a doll with a blue tie and some spiky hair. He's basically should be standing at the end of this table. That is some pretty hairy stuff, bro. So once you get inside the hair bags, uh, Gilam Gilliam the f the furry will be collected, and uh, we just need to hug female dolls. So go around hugging some female dolls. Well done, Gilam Gilam, whatever your name is. So what we need to do, we need to now stack Gilam in this uh, factory whistle hat guy. The guy who <laughs> looks like, oh, we got him, Livioso. Oh, Ronald Weasley. You know, that guy. We're going to wake up Harry Potter. Or oh, he's supposed to be a tailor, but no, nah, that's definitely Harry Potter, bro. <laughs> so, once you get in him, the tailor wickens. That'll be unique doll 9 out of 26. Now we're going to go back down to the ramp into the women's only area. It's me, Ron. It's Harry Potter. What we need to do is use the tailor's ability. When she turns back around, you need to go uh, stack inside the lady. And then we can press the A button to disable the lady's gate. So, it happens a bit quick. But once you press the A button, like I said, as the... Um, Taylor, as soon as she turns around, quickly stack into the next one as well. So disable both of the ladies' gates. Do the same here. Press the A button. As soon as she turns around, stack inside. That'll be Gertle, Myrtle, and Pearl. So Rosie and Gertie done. Uh, now, as the Taylor again, we're going to head downstairs. And we are going to... Uh, in fact, what are we going to do first? We are going to... Uh, yes, we're going to measure... Tiberius for fitting. That's going to take his armor off. And then what you can do is unstack yourself. He's got it on his head. And then just give Tiberius a big old man hug. That'll be enough to tickle him. And that'll be three out of three complete. So once this is done, uh, before heading back upstairs or anyway, what we're going to do is stack into Soup Bowl, bitch boy. Stack into the clown face, and then we're going to stack into all three of these evil industrialists. That's going to get us the hijinks called Evil Stack completed for stacking any three evil industrialists together. Right, so now what we need to do... Um, remember to stay basically as the soup ball boy, uh, so none of the guards catch you. But what we have to do is head all the way back up to the third... A uh, little bit of an edit skip right there, sorry. Uh, doesn't matter who you are, but again, there will be a guard, so it might be worth just um, getting in to someone. But we just need to head all the way up, basically back to where we uh, started this particular car train. Head all the way to the end. Or sort of basically back at the beginning and you're gonna stack into this guy called Gustav He is the piano player set which we're gonna do now So we need to go sort of back and forth across the room. There's another three in this particular room uh, So if we head to the right and go down to the opposite end uh, And just by the other door there is Sergei 
It's me, Alexander's wombat nephew that lives with you now. <laughs> Sergey. Sorry, you know, you, you, you know the drill. You know they compare the meerkat adverts. Um, if we head to the opposite side once again, we are going to stack into Ludwig. And then down to the final one, we are going to get inside of Wolfgang. This is what all the piano players used to do back in the day, by the way. Used to just get inside each other. Because why not? Play piano and stack inside each other. Lovely. So, uh, what we're going to do, we now need to follow the objective marker, which of course we're doing. We're heading downstairs. We need to um, basically wake up the fifth piano player with a factory whistle ability. So here he is. So if we just turn around, there's the factory whistle guy. So you need to get in him, wake up the fifth one, and then get inside of him. He is called Franz. <laughs> There we go, lads and ladettes. We're flying through now. 16 out of 26 complete. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to head to the right once we get down here. There is another guard patrolling right here. So we're going to find him. He basically just patrols up and down this uh, little strip. He doesn't actually go into the bars. So what we're going to do then, we're just going to wait. There's the guard for me. So obviously we're going to just do the same thing we've done earlier. So make sure that you are unstacked as Charlie. Wait until he sees you. As soon as he does, get straight in, and that will be number two. Now, I already done it. That's why it doesn't come up on screen. But you will get uh, the number two out of four hijinks there for um, whatever the hell, which, whichever one it's called. The Artle Dodgems or whatever it is. Right, so what we need to do, we are now going to run into our final big broski right here. It's the piano lead, Frederick. Hello. Hello, 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 hello! There we go. Right, we are now going to continue on to our next objective. If you do press the right bumper, if you want to, um, it's basically straight ahead, not in there. We'll just, uh, we'll just try that again. I thought that was a guard then, sorry, that's why I crap my pants. Um, but we are basically just trying to find um, the maid with the French, with the, with the French duster with the uh, feather, so the tickle feather duster, whatever it's called. So go ahead, find one, here it, she is. So we are gonna stack inside her, if you can. Um, if not, try and obviously get the clown boy. Clown boy will always be appearing there. There we go, once we've stacked into her, then we are good to go. So we're actually going to head outside of the opposite door now. And you're going to see Merryweather poops a lot. Uh, Poopador. There he is, he's just standing there with his little gold hat. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tickle him. Uh, that'll get us the hijinks complete. And then we're going to go into the Gracias Gassias cloud in order to get uh, Merryweather's Mary 18th out of 26th. Um, Tingo Scrat. So from here then, we're going into the piano bar. I'm gonna stack in the with the doll with the candle, as you can see here, the Robocop looking dude with the candle on his head. Um, it's a welding mask, but I call it Robocop. Now we are going to, again, we're going to be using the combo abilities. The lights are staying off. Not this time, bro. So what you need to do is go straight up to him, press the A button in order to flare up the candle. Back out. Uh, so unstack yourself. All right, we'll just try that out. <laughs> we'll just try that one again when the flame dies out. There we go. So press the A button, unstack yourself, and then flatulate with Merryweather. And that'll explode the bro, and uh, yeah, he doesn't like light. That's uh, pretty, much, pretty much what that is. There we go, labs. Right, that's one done anyway. So what we're going to now do is go up to the third level of this train, right into the gas room right here. That's what we want. There is a guard in here, so be careful. Make sure to stack immediately if you can. I got lucky with that one, so just <laughs> just be careful then. There is a guard here, so make sure you're either already stacked in someone or you can quickly run across and jump into him. Um, and obviously do the trick in order to get the third out of four Artful Dodgem hijinks. 
So while we're here then, what we're going to do, we're going, going to go into the Clerk of the Works Jasper. There he is with the wrench in his hand. 19 out of 26 now unique dolls. And then what we're going to do, head um, to the end of the room where the guard is here and maintain this little panel where he goes... And then what we can do is we are now going to stack into the flare doll, so the candle doll. Uh, or sort of Robocop with a candle on his head. Yep. And then what we can do is go back to that same panel and then use this flare ability to light the pilot light next to the switch. There we go. That'll be two out of three complete now. Almost done, almost done. Right, what we're gonna do now, we are going to have to return to the Piani Bar. So obviously we are going to head, uh, just don't go up any ramps. It's, it was basically just behind us. Here's the Piano Bar. We now need to get into one of the coin slash money kids. There we go. Now we have to stack into a large woman with a carbon footprint sort of ability. Now she's basically wearing a light pink outfit and a big old hat. So she is around. There is only one in this area, so you may have to do a little digging. Uh, but just make sure to stack up as uh, uh, much as you can, because she is a large snoo snoo lady. Arr, there she blows. Look, just like, uh, you know, what's the name of Resident Evil? Got all the uh, Resident Evil fanboys. Wee wee's hard. Um, harder. <laughs> right, anyway, what we could do now is take him into the uh, Shadow General's room. This one right here, where the Shadow General is. What you need to do is unstack to the money kid, put one of the money coins in the slot, and then uh, a little button will pop down. We need to stack into everyone else, including into Big Snoo Snoo Lady. And just smash the carbon footprint. There we go. That'll do it. And that should be the third out of third complete. And we are going. Going. Gone! Lovely stuff. Right. Now we can continue up. Again, make sure to cover yourself well because there is the guard in this room. And if he catches you, whoa, boy, you'll start from just a little bit else. A little bit further back. Uh, so we're going to head up. We are now basically going to be going up this path, making our way through the Kid Workshop. And this is where the fourth guard for the Artful Dodger hijinks will be as well. So once we get down these stairs, once we get down the stairs, if you want to just get this one out of the way then, of course, remember to do our trick, what we've been doing so far, unstack as Charlie. As soon as he sees us, stack back into the money kid, or whoever you've got. Come on, bro. Ah, come here, Charlie. <laughs> anyway, that is four out of four, so that should be all the hijinks complete. By the way, if you do end up missing, I should have said this earlier, if you do end up missing any of the hijinks, you can actually just come back and replay it and do it later, so you can't actually miss anything which is Q. So what we're going to do, we're going to head down to the first level of this car. And then if we just go to the opposite side and head into the left, what you're going to see is a doll wearing a fedora and a uh, trench coat. This is, this is the spy. So what we need to do is stack into him and we need to use our, his disguise ability on any five, me five female dolls and any large doll. So we have to do one on any large doll as well as five. That'll complete the hijinks. Plus we need one to scare big broski downstairs.
Yeah, sorry, there was only four down down uh, this ramp for some particular reason, down in this level. So, with the large one, what we're going to do, we are going to disguise this big, large dude right here. This is the only one that will scare Mr. Broski downstairs, so we're going to stack into him, stack into him, and let's go. Punch clock, dog! Now, there is a little hijinks for uh, punch clocking, uh, I believe, ten. Ten people or whatever. So, anyway, here's the cutscene. We've got Mr. Simpleton right here. And, uh, well, that basically scares me away. God damn, our mama's big. Holy crap. Giving birth to Charlie must have been a piece of piss. Right, so, uh, once we've done that, we've got the collection for the corporate spy, the, the unique doll, and we've done the hijinks for disguising female dolls. Now we're going to return to the kid's shop, uh, work... Return to the kid workshop, that's what I'm trying to say, and now we're going to stack into uh, one of the kids that has a bunch of sheets. Again, remember there is a guard in here, so you're going to have to stack. You're going to have to stack someone. Help me! There we go, that'll do. Black lung cough, that doesn't sound like a good cough. Uh, but anyway, head into, um, sort of down here and get into one of the sheets. Now all you got to do is press the A button to fold sheets. And put them over five uh, specific dolls. Or say specific, just unique ones. And once that little hijinks is complete then, what we can do, we can now take any child doll. Um, whether it be the toilet brush kid. Uh, probably easier just to use the toilet brush kid in all fairness. Or you can use the sugar rush kid. It doesn't it doesn't matter which, but we basically just need to use the child's doll ability. So we need to uh, basically just head downstairs. Um, for some reason I seem to be struggling. I'm actually trying to get into one of these, but... Uh, oh, there we go. Look, we're in. We're in. And again, luckily I didn't just get caught. Man, he's got to kick me sign on his eyes. That's unlucky. Right, so head down as a ghost. Because, of course, we need to scare Simpleton uh, into thinking that we are a ghost. So make sure to go ahead and do that. If we have a look directly behind us, we can see Am's toilet brush kid. Oh man, that has got to be one crappy job. Eh, get it? Crappy? Yeah, crap in the toilet? Yeah, you know. You know. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to head up to the uh, second floor right here, past the weird disguising spy dude. Um, we can get out. There's no guard here. Don't panic yourself about it. Uh, but what we are doing is, you see the jack in the box right there? All you've got to do then is just use the child's ability on the doll, which is in front of the jack in the box. A total of three times, and then he will basically get a massive, incredibly scary, in all fairness, clown to come out. Um, so, uh, what, I did, what I just done there was I got the guy with the punch clock ability as well, because we do need to use his punch clock ability on a couple of dolls. Um, so, just... <laughs> Try not to get the box, try to get the guy in front of the box. Again, a total of three times, and he's going to smash out the clown. Now, this clown's scream is genuinely beyond terrifying. And this is why nobody likes clowns. <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, what we're going to do then, we are, again, you don't have to run around, uh, run away or anything. But we're going to do a little bit of stacking. Because we are going to... Look, how bloody... That's freaking creepy, man. <laughs> imagine t imagine telling the kids that a clown like this was going to come and scare you if you don't tidy up your bedroom and stuff. What the flub, man? So, uh, peck the clown, 21 out of 26 unique dolls. Now, what we got to do is uh, use the clown scream on child dolls, which, again, is, is very haunting. It sounds like a starting up chainsaw, but even I'm crapping my pants at that. And that'll be five done. Now what we can do is uh, knock down dolls with the punch clock ability. Um, or are we going to do that? No, yeah, we are going to do that first. And then we're going to use Peck the Clown to go down and scare Mr. Broski.
So there we go, that'll be the triple train trickster done for completing all the hijinks in this train. Now we're gonna get to the, oh man, the clown. You need to drink more clown shoes. That's about the only bit of good English Russian I can do. Uh, just clown scream straight into Simpleton's face. And that will get us the locomotivated achievement for finding all the solutions to all of the Decca Tank Engine challenges. Right, so we're quite close to coming up to the end now of the main game. So we basically now just have to follow the main, um, the objective marker. Um, yeah, it's coming up. Here we go. It's my family. Hello, my family. Right, so, what we need to do, we need to basically stack inside everyone. So, we will get Albert, Agatha, Abigail, Archibald, and Agnes. This should then be enough to get us the doll antiquarian achievement. If, for whatever particular reason, you've missed one, have a look at your collection. Um, and again, and again, you'll be able to come back to this level and do it anyway, so you won't be able to miss it. So, uh, once you clean the lock and come, in, uh, come out here, what you need to do now is unstack in to um, Archibald. Archibald. Now what you can see there is just in front of us is like uh, a brick wall in between two other brick sort of walls. Yeah, like fireplaces. So you just need to spam the A button here to continue up. Then when you've done that, we can unstack ourselves again and just go through and we need to snuff out this fire which is right in front of us. So as soon as we snuff it out, back out or sorry, get out of it, and then go straight through as Agatha. And then we're going to see some falling coals. Hi guys, it's Nicole. You remember that classic YouTuber. Right, use the parasol to get through, that's lovely. And then finally at the end, we are going to get out and use Charlie to go straight through. And he is going to see, uh, well, we can actually shovel. Oh, it's Albert, sorry, not Charlie. So Albert will shovel away. And now we can use Charlie. And get through. And who, who will it be here? Is mine papa. Charlie, it's your father. Yes, I know, bro. I know. I, I, I know who my dad is, okay? What the hell? So there we go, you would have got the well-trained traveller for completing the adventure. Uh, now it's basically just the last one. So what we need to do then, we need to go from largest to smallest. We need to use each of the Blackmore's abilities, for, again, from largest to smallest. So what we will do, uh, right in front of us is the chimney. And if uh, for Williams, for Dick Blackmore. Oh. <laughs> or should I say, if that's an anagram, it'll be more black, William. Never mind. Uh, so, uh, you can pump the bellows straight in front of us. Pump it a couple of times until the fire is good to go. The Baron's going to be like, nya, nya, nya. screw you, bro. Screw off, man. And this means we need to get Merryweather Gold, whatever his bloody name is. So, Mr. Farty Pants, there he is, who looks more like a milkman. Get inside him, and then he is going to flatulate, and that'll be the first one complete. That's basically what we're doing for this uh, part of the boss fight. Using the Blackmore's abilities and using someone else's abilities as well. So, uh, after this bit, he's going to get smaller and smaller. So, it'll tell you sort of what you need to look for anyway as we begin this. So, we need to get the Clerk of the Works, Jasper. Obviously, remember, it is the guy with the wrench. So, go ahead, open up the panel. Clean out access. That would be, uh, <laughs> that'd be my, uh, never mind. It's already been maintained. So what we need to do now is get Agnes to clean it out. So obviously she's the second largest. And then just go ahead and clean that one out. So, rather lovingly then, next what we're going to do is stack the Widow Chastity into Archibald. So, obviously, he, uh, Archibald is the third 
Uh, I wonder if there's any actual kids called Archibald these days. Surely bloody not. Um, but we actually need... There's the Widow Chastity right in front of us. But we need to stack... Um, obviously, we need to stack into another person. I'll do. Anyone will do. Hammer time. Oh, it's hammer time. No hips, baby. Uh, so stick into the Widow Chastity. And then go into Archibald. Now, what we're going to do... We need to climb to the Baron. So not this side here. <laughs> Silly. But just to the left of it right there, you can see the little gap. We're going to climb up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to uh, unstack the Widow Chastity and then seduce the Baron into falling off because he'd be stupid. And this is basically every man. This is what every man would do. Right toe, left toe. Uh, right, what do we need to do next then? Well, right, we need to use Abigail now to snuff out the three flames. So we're Agatha. Next one, there she is, Abigail. So we need uh, to uh, snuff out the three flames. Don't worry, they won't start again. So she, she's kind of like a the doctor. She just looks like she's putting a stethoscope on some fire. Hey! Get out of it, you son of There we go. Now we actually need to use Cromwell. So we can just basically go ahead, stack into your brother and then your mother. Never thought I'd say that uh, Archibald kind of looks like Harry Maguire, doesn't he? Ah, hilarious. Uh, but yeah, never thought I'd be saying, please go inside your mother or your brother in this playthrough either. Anyway, go straight through the door. Give it a royal wedgie. That's going to knock him out again. Oh, I'm such a bad man. Alright guys, almost there guys. Now we need to use Agatha to parasol spin past uh, some falling coal. So there we go, Agatha next. Just over to the next side is going to be some falling coal. So what you're going to do is just press the A button here and she's going to go, there we go, look. Look at that, like magic. Now we need to use Ursula Ollendorf, there she is. So use Ursula, and when she is going to scream into the whistle, that is obviously going to cause incredible deafness and bleedingness of the ear holes. And lastly, but not leastly, we need to stack Albert into a pelican. So go ahead and get a little tiny Albert, who is still bigger than you. Go over to the right-hand side again, and you'll see the pelican just sort of wandering about right there. Uh, make sure to fly up to the nest. Unstack yourself, and then use Albert to shovel coal onto the barrel. And then, at uh, the barrel of the Baron. Then we've got one more uh, sort of boss fight to do. It's very easy once you understand what's happening. But what we need to do first in order to get out of this, we need to go into uh, Little Albert here, then into Little Agatha, then into Flatulent Man, and then into Flare Candle. It just so happens that uh, these two have been arrested as well for some reason. So Flare uh, again, and then use Merryweather's Flatulate, and enjoy the action sequence. Yay! King. Look at that. Landed on his feet as well. Legend. Right, so what you can see then, the Baron is lit up right there. Now, I'll try and explain it uh, basically as quickly as I can. It's basically like a rock, paper, scissors game. So if he manages to catch you, you will just end up doing this. And then you can stack into two dolls in front of us every time. So always look for the Baron's light. He will continue to chase you even if you get into someone else. And he will also... So say if you get into a rock... He will get into whatever it is that beats rock. So, obviously, paper beats rock. 
if you change it into a paper one, he will obviously change into a scissors one. So you you gotta kind of be you gotta kind of let him get close. But if you do manage to catch him, even if he's um, running into someone else, that does still count as a hit. So as you can see here, he is rock. So what we need to do is get him to follow you, find the paper one. So there's some paper ones. Quickly stack in. No, that was no, nah, that was ah, that was stupid of me. So hopefully you sort of get what it is. So the Baron will always be lit up, so you know exactly what he is. Again, he's rock at the minute. I'll show you now. Once I'm paper, he has now changed into scissors. So that is why it can be uh, sort of a little bit uh, annoying at first. Um, <laughs> yeah, it can be a bit frustrating. But that's all you got to do is sort of, sort of just let him get close to you. And then you can follow him around. He's the scissors, so we need to get into rock and then quickly uh, smash him with the A button. You know you've done it right. Um, oh, there we go. So that'll be two out of four. We need to hit him another two times, though. So, again, make sure he will change into paper. So if we can, we're going to try and get one that uh, is in scissors. And then quickly attack him. So unstack, straight in, and then attack as quick as he can. And there we go. And again, you know when you've done it right, when you uh, are the uh, customer's character here. So just continue on again until this guy is beaten down and bruised. And that, my friends, is the end of the game. But we do have the free DLC, The Lost Hobo, with some achievements still left to go. Or the Lost Hobo King, sorry. So we can just go straight through all this. Uh, again, if you don't have it yet, just go into the marketplace, give that a little download. It's definitely worth doing because it's an extra couple of uh, uh, extra couple of uh, <whistles> achievements. Now, hopefully, what I hope Double Fine do is make a stacking remaster with a thousand gamer score, which would always be nice. Uh, instead of the original 250. But this is still a great game, so... On to the Lost Hobo King, then. This DLC is going to take roughly about 40 minutes or so, something like that. Probably a little bit quicker if you can get uh, past some of the challenges and puzzles. Um, but, yeah, here we go, then. Let's, uh... Well, let's do this thing, man. Again... The achievements for this are basically just like every other else, uh, everything else we've done. Collect all the hijinks, collect all the unique dolls, complete the adventure. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a job. One. So straight away, what we're going to do is go straight in front of us. You're going to see this woman with a bottle cap on her head. She has the slap patch ability. So we're going to use the slap patch on five dolls. Any dolls, any time, any dolls. <laughs> So, once she has the golden uh, bottle cap on her head, yeah, that'll do it. And now we are going to head up the steps for the first time. So, what we're going to do is stack into a larger doll. Uh, that one should be fair, just fine. Or, you know, Gandalf the Homeless. And then if we head to the right-hand side from where we're standing right now, you can see a guy with a hat on his head right in front of us here. He is basically the first unique character of the DLC. Go inside and you will unlock... Number 114, Bucky Bedroll. That's a fantastic name. With a bit of bold patching on top as well. So, uh, there's the panda here, which we're going to get into a little bit later on. Just, uh, uh, we're going to take a note of where he is. But we're going to unstack from uh, Bucky and find a male doll uh, that's sort of wandering the area with a green top hat and carrying a rad s uh, red sack on it. So it is this guy. What you need to do then is use the Bindle Bash ability on 10 different dolls.
me. Everybody like that. Uh, apparently. So, uh, what we're going to do now is stack back into Bucky Bedroll. He should always be in his uh, little location here. And then what we're going to do, just to the left, or sort of just behind Bucky, is an alley opening that we are going to go down. So this is going to trigger another cutscene for another challenge called Open Excalican. <laughs> and just like the main game, we've got a few things to do. So what we need to do, we need to find a male doll in the area wearing a purple cape. Kind of reminds me of Superman or something, but uh, yeah. So he's in, again, he's just in this immediate area, so just keep having a little search for him for now. Ah, dun dun. There he is then. There's the special kid himself. So there we go. Get inside him. Tristan Tugboy. Great name for a great uh, neck. Uh, so what we can do then, we actually need uh, Bucky here to give Tristan a hat. So stack into Bucky and then place a hat straight on Tristan's head. Mr. Tugboy and that will get you uh, a little bucket hat. So he can be Superman after all. I knew it. Right, in this area, just over to the right-hand side, there is a wed, a wed, a wed and right, <laughs> a red and white striped tent. There you go, so it's directly in front of us, there it is. So you just need to, as Tristam, you need to talk to her. She's going to give us um, a tin can, which is gonna, basically going to be a shield. But obviously she'll only give it to you as Tristam, not anyone else. So now we are going to use the ability here uh, near this large sardine can, as you can see. And that will be the first one out of three complete. There can only be one. But there's actually going to be three. So, what we're going to do, we are finding a boy with a fishing pole. Blonde as hell. Uh, easy to spot. There he goes. Now, over to the left-hand side, you're going to see two orange boys. Two orange boys. And that is where we can actually go fishing. You can't go fish here. So, just head to the opposite side. And we're going to get someone who you thought would just be left alone in the original game. But apparently, he went sea deep diving this time. There he is, old Hans himself. Deep sea diver Hans. So let's just uh, back out of the fishing boy. We're going to go into Hans. That's going to get us 3 out of 14 for unique dolls. Did you just say steamed hams? No, I said deep sea Hans. Oh, that's much worse. So, we're going to stack back into Fishing Pole Boy, and then what we need to do is use his Go Fish ability on five different dolls that are wearing hats. Um, there probably won't be enough in this area, so just go to the main hobo area in order to find enough people. Right, mate. Right, since we are happy with that, we're going to go back down into the little, little area. And you're going to go through a small opening right here, right in the middle. Uh, you can, in fact, you're going to need to leave it as Fishing Pole Boy because we need to get inside this uh, seagull. So there we go. We'll just try that one again. Whoopsie, missed the door. I am a poopy. So get inside the seagull and we can use its flight to nest ability straight up. Walk across the bridge to the red roof. The roof is on fire. We don't need no. Press the A button to fly to nest. Burn. Burn. And then, as either one, just continue to uh, spam the hook. Get it lower. That's actually going to open up the sardine can again. It appears they've gone fishing, sir. Right, so what we are going to do now, back in the fishing area, we have done this. We are going to stack into the male dolls with a pallet on his head. Why? Because that's why. Okay. Now, we're going to use his carry small load ability to pick up a child doll. Uh, fishing boy, pole boy will do. Now, uh, over on to the sort of left-hand side, leftmost hand side of the area, there's a little 
area that you can't actually get in, but it holds a suit of armor. It's got a purple feather sticking under the top of it. Here it is. All you need to do then is press the A button to drop the boy on any one of these little pallets. And then we can just unstack from Wooden Pallet Man, get Charlie, and get into the fishing pole boy. And then we can drop down, get inside the armor. That is number four out of 14. And then what you can do is just press the A button to joust. And then what we need to do is uh, just split dolls by jousting them. Do it. Yeah, man. What fun. So when you finally have that one done, complete, we can uh, now um, just use his joust ability on the target here, right there. Use it on the target. That is three out of three done. That sardine looks like a pillow or something, but there we go. So that is those ones complete. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the starting area and enter the alleyway directly across from us as we appear here. It's pretty much right next to the meat market, but for some reason I decided to go down the left-hand side steps. So just ignore this, you just need to go straight. Uh, and you can see a meat market, it's the alleyway to the left of that. I was just being a very silly man. There we go, Mish. So sorry about that, you guys. So here is Cornelius the uh, Pornelius, I guess. Corny the Pawnee. Uh, so this is obviously another cinematic. The Get in the House challenge will play. So stack into the doll here in the corner who's wearing the funny looking uh, pipe hat thing. This is Cornelius Caboose. <laughs> yeah. There he is. He's got a sweet corn on his head. So now we are going to go, this This again will take quite a few minutes in order to do, so we need to go back into the main area, go to mainly meat market, which is again just to the left of us here. What you uh, effectively need to do, um, you need to get four dolls pretty much of all the same size, so these gypsy women or whatever they're called will do. You need to talk to the vendor, he'll put a rotten steak on your head. Then you need to uh, stack yourself in front of Cornelius here. Stack into uh, another gypsy woman or whatever it is. Then you can st uh, stack into Cornelius again. Nope. There we go. And then press the A button to smoke out. And that is using the smoke out ability on any doll with any meat. So what might be quicker than the way I'm doing it here is if you get uh, five dolls of all the same sort of size... Put meat on the head and then with Cornelius just smoke them out all at once. That'll probably be a little bit quicker than the way I'm about to do it. But that is pretty much how you do it.
So yes, I apologise that took a while there, but uh, that was a bit, bit of a pain in the old bum to snatch one, that one. Uh, but anyway, we are now going to head back uh, to the area where the get in the house challenge. And where we've seen Cornelius, what we need to do is use his smoke out ability near a trail of corn on the ground. Right in the hole. And that is going to get a raccoon straight out. So what we need to do then is stack into the raccoon. Raccoon, raccoon. So, uh, what we're going to do, uh, once we stack in, we're going to go back into the uh, little bit that he came. It's going to be 6 out of 14, by the way, for unique dolls. So, go into the raccoon burrow that we just come out of, and the raccoon assaults hijinks will appear. And that's fine. So, what we need to do then, from uh, this part, we're still in the same bit, so don't worry with Cornelius. Head to the left. Head to the left in through this burrow, and just go all the way around... And then the house on the left should be open, so we can just head straight through. Uh, just don't touch the rooms that are in the middle of the ground, and that'll be the first one for getting in the house complete. If it didn't work the first time, and the house sort of lifts up in the air, and is being locked, then obviously just remember to just do that again. Now, there was a bit of an edit, because I messed up uh, quite a bit, actually, so we need to beat the raccoon again. Now, if you're having trouble finding any raccoons, he will be in the same spot where we got him from Cornelius. Um, but if we head back into the main area, into this little part here, this is the third out of three. And then what you need to do is just go up to the uh, rabbit. That'll spook him out. So again, I do apologize about the little edit there, but um, you just need to be the raccoon again. Come out here, get the third burrow going, st stack yourself into the rabbit. That'll be... Mr. Whiskers, unique doll, 7 out of 14. Uh, so we're going to go back into... No, we're going to go back into the rabbit first, actually. And then straight back into the raccoon. So we've uh, picked the wizard, but it can pretty much be any one that you want, any sort of large character. So what we need to do is find a sort of group of hobos. We basically need to get five uh, adults jumping all at the same time. So we will leave uh, Homeless Gandalf right there, uh, snap out to Mr. Whiskers, and then just have a little bounce around. There you go. Sometimes it may need to take a couple of times. But there we go. Bunny train done. So make five dolls bounce with Mr. Whiskers at Wounce. Right, so once that's done, he's got his little bunny golden cutest ever hat on. Um, we are going to stack back into the raccoon. We're going to head towards the large panda on the left-hand side, just by Betty Budrock. Then what we need to do is get, um, as Mr. Whiskers, we need to bounce in front of the panda in order for him to get down, and then we can just get inside all of them. Well, that's pretty cute. Best friends forever. You can't beat that, can you? Can you? Right, uh, obviously we've just seen the little story uh, cutscene. What we need to do now is actually get into the uh, panda, who is just Gillum, whatever his name is, in a panda costume. If you are looking for the raccoon, he will probably be in his snuffy out hidey hole. Uh, but we don't need him just as yet. I don't think we need him at all now. Uh, but we are just trying to get into the panda because we've got another hijinks left to do. <gasps> oh, finally, it's about goddamn time. So what we need to do then is use the unsavory sniff on the backside of adult dolls. So you're literally just sniffing adult dump right now. 
Uh, on five unique dolls. So that's your pervy panda stuff done. So now you can stop, stop sniffing butts, which will always come in handy. Right, now we got to find another way into that house. So this time we have to be homeless Gandalf. And we are going to go back to the house. Yes, yes, hello everyone, it's me, homeless Gandalf. So if you press the A button, you're going to see three lights that are going to appear. One on the left. One in the middle and one on the right. So, uh, stand on anyone as homeless Gandalf. So again, stand on anyone, and then you need to unstack, get the next doll in the middle, and unstack and get the next one on the sort of right-hand side right there. That is going to open up the house for us, and we can simply just go straight through. And that is going to be the second out of three for getting in the house. Right, so obviously ignore where it says one. We've obviously done two, the other one with a raccoon earlier on. Again, bit of a mess up, so that's why it's in a, a bit out of order right there. So what we're going to do now, we've got the fish boy. Um, we are stacking into a homeless bindle bash guy. So that's who we actually need. Uh, we're going to use this ability on the guy standing next to the taintless tuna sign. There it is. All sort of Danny Trejo looking, bro. With his get out, lovely. Uh, he spits out a fish doll, so we're actually going to get inside that fish doll. Ooh, that's the stinkiest one we've been inside yet. Gumps of the sea. Or should I say mumps? Or should I say no, nothing? Nothing else. So, uh, where the feathers are right here, press the A button and you're going to flop around like Am's fish. Seagull's going to come down. And he's just like, hey, where's that fish gun, man? But we can just <laughs> stack straight into him, fly up to the nest. Job done. Uh, right now, we can just go to the end and we can fly to the nest once again. And there we go. Uh, in fact, we didn't need to fly to the nest. We just dropped down. Sorry. <laughs> Apologies. It is now coming at 1 a.m. here at the time of recording. So my brain is <laughs> once again, actually. So, now that that is all done, now we can head towards the third challenge area. The third and final one. It is the longest one of the DLC. So, what we need to do, we need to go all the way straight and get Bucky Bedroll. Here he is. Hello. I Hello, buddy. Hello, baldy man. Grande, because we're going to get a hijinks thing. So from here, on the right-hand side, you can see the big long steps, but we're actually going to be going underneath it now. Now this uh, part can be a bit slightly annoying, uh, first of all, but when once you get used to the path, it's not so bad. So basically we have to get through these ghouls um, six times altogether, but five times the story will complete, and then we got to do it for the last time. But what we need to do is just go straight up to a zombie and press the A button to put a bucket hat on them. You will die, but you'll start literally straight in front of it, so that's all good. So for now, just go ahead and give five bucket hats to the ghouls. And that'll complete the next hijinks. And there we have it then. So Bucky Bedroll's torture is finally over, but we do have a gold brain to show for it. So we're going to unstack from Bucky. We're going to stack into the large male doll here, the Stilton Red Sticks. Uh, he's got a later hosen and cheese in his head. So what you need to do to get through the path, we need to just keep tossing the cheese. So keep spamming the A button. Uh, as long as you buy the cheese, it'll clear the path. The zombies won't come near you. Head towards the left-hand side. And then once we are in, 
We need to unstack. Don't worry, the zombies ain't going to come up here. But then we need to uh, stack in here. Press the A button a couple of times there to open up the gate. So get back into cheese bag and cheese head. Again, continue to toss the cheese by pressing the A button. That will continuously clear the path because they don't like the stink of cheese. But cheese is so nice. It's on pizza and everything. So we can go through the gate, head to the left. There's going to be another. There's only two of these areas with ghouls. And it's the same every single time. So we just have to use different abilities and different characters in order to finish it. So uh, get the stinky cheese going. Go towards the right hand side this time. Oh, I got lucky with that one. Got lucky with that one there. And then once again, we can unstack, stack into this, open up the gate and just do the same thing. Go through the gate and that will complete this bit. What I should say as well is if you have already opened a gate, but you end up dying and getting killed, uh, just to let you know that the gate remains open. So you don't actually, so you can literally just go straight through rather than messing around with the switches again, which is always nice. So, next up then, for the next one, we just need to get past the ghouls with, um, so this time it's just going in and using Charlie. So, Charlie's small enough he can run past. If you do end up getting cornered, just run away from them, that is fine. So, again, obviously, you head to the left, open up the gate straight away, and you should be good to go. Now, I did actually die quite a few times with Charlie. Um, but again, like I said, when the, uh... If you manage to open up one or both of the gates and you continue to die, that's fine. The gates will always remain open. So just head through here, open up the gate, and, well, you know the drill. This is We're going to be repeating this for a few times yet. So as you can see, I died. Now, I'm only showing you, I'm only uh, leaving it in so I can show you that you can just go straight um, straight through the gate instead of messing around with the switches, which is always nice. So, getting through it, huh? That's two out of six complete now. Now, we are going to stack into the large woman on the left who's got a big old cage on her head. Yes, it's, uh, yeah. Well, she's looking good. She, she seems to be the only one that can pull that off, by the way. Uh, but we do need to stack into her. There we go. So, uh, this is called, she is called Betty Bufflehead. Very nice. But we have to, uh, we have the ability to trap all of the child dolls in the area. Now, if... Now, if you can try and aim for three, they'll just stay there. That's fine. But there, I think there are two child dolls in this area. If you can aim for three, that will be even better. If you've only got two, though, don't panic. Um, there should be a, there was a child doll for me that was coming up in this little area. There he is, look. So that's why I just hey, come back here, yeah, little hey, get out of it. There we go. So after we've trapped as many as we can, we are now going to stack with the large male doll with the wooden pallet on his nugget once again. And this time we're actually going to drop. So we're going to grab one of the cages. Now try and get, if you can, try and get as close to the middle as possible. And then you can drop the child load. Because basically I drop him here. What that does is it'll distract the zombies, but it won't distract all the zombies. That's why I said if you can, try and get it as close to the middle as you possibly can. Um, if not, and you see a zombie coming towards you, just run away from him and that'll be fine. It'll be the same with the two sort of lerdial zombies that are guarding the... Well, I did die, but you know, that's fine. It'll be the same with the two ladies that are sort of guarding the switch. Just walk up to them and just basically go around them. Now, the one caged child is still there, but of course we will have to grab the other one. So, when you go to the left, try and get as close as you can. There we go. Straight in the middle. We're all good to go. Again, if you do need another child, 
uh, in a cage to distract him. Just head out into the main area, of course. And, uh, yeah, just get it. Get it. It's unlimited kids. You can, you can imprison as many kids as you want without feeling guilty about it. So, with that one done now, because they left this one alone, actually, I actually managed to go back and grab him. Uh, so that could always be uh, worth handy as I just about make my way through there. So down to the next one then, and again you're just going to do the same thing. Sort of get as close into the middle, or sort of the middle right as you can at least. Uh, not that you can, because there's still a lot of ghouls about. Now, I was a little bit trapped here. All is not lost though. Because we've done the leg work as the wooden pallet man, we can now actually just unstack from Charlie and just sprint straight through. Yeah, man. Next song. Next song. Right, now what we need to do is go back to the central area and get into one of the dolls that is wearing a meat hat. Um, which, of course, we've done five by now, but if you just want to get anyone to grab a little meat hat, make sure to do that. Uh, obviously, well, there's one. there was one just chilling there. There's another one there. So you should have some, but basically you now effectively have free reign to go straight past the ghouls because we smell like one of them. Rotten meat, which again, protein's protein if you got to get it down here. Yeah. But anyway, you can literally just go straight through and you will have no troubles with this one. You shouldn't have any troubles anyway. Just can't bet you when it's easy like that, eh? Nah. So, that was number four. Right, now we need to go ahead and get Deep Sea Hans. So we need to go all the way back to the area with the little uh, little things that we came from earlier. So head to the left and straight down and get into Hans's Deep Sea Helmet. He is wet for you. Yes! 
as you can see, Deep Sea Hands has a pretty special ability there for fish hooking. Now, you can still easily get caught. This doesn't kill the zombies uh, for good. So continue to just spam the A button. You still do have to be careful. Don't let the zombie get too close when the fish hook is coming to an end. That's uh, my high advice that I can give you for this one. Right, let's crack on with the sixth. Oh, we can't. We can't do that one just yet. We have to complete the DLC story first. So, we're going to head back to the central area, and then, and finally, we're actually going to go up towards the closed door at the top of these steps. Now, again, Charlie is the only one who's going to be able to fit through this little gap, but we're going to interact with all of these um, hobos, which will get us 14 out of 14 unique dolls, plus the Hobo Hustler achievement for finding all the unique dolls in this Hobo adventure. Right, so now what we can do is uh, stack into the wizard and we're going to read the runes here on uh, just in front of the door. Now, what you... Basically, they just correspond with each of the blacksmiths. That's what it is. So you can see two, uh, one top left, one top right, one middle, uh, middle row, middle. So what you need to do then is we need to get the we need now we now need to stack into the fire breath guy, so the big one. We need to pop him in the top right hand corner. The next one we will leave right in the middle, right in the middle of the map right there, and then finally the left top left hand side one. Uh, well that would be it, but for some reason I totally forgot. So there we go. So remember it's top left for the very final one. So the middle one with the frying pans you will put here and the one with the water ability put in the top left hand corner. Uh, next up, make sure that you're stacking everybody. 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 So what we need to do with the fire breath, we need a couple of times uh, right next to this big cauldron. Just uh, press it once and I am going to press it again and then when You've pressed it a couple of times. Quickly back out. Go up with the frying pan and then try and hit these while the coals are still orange and burning. And if you can actually hit it properly, that will come in handy as well. Um, if the coals go black, you just have to uh, fire it up again. So unstack yourself. Go to the water part. Douse it. And this is what completes the DLC. Come on, the boys! We've only got one more thing left to do now, and this is over! Okay, next we are going to get the Kingmaker achievement. This is obviously for completing the DLC. Now we can just do the last hijink and the last challenge we need. So, if you just turn around and go up the steps, you are going to see the uh, Pan Pounder and the Fire Breather dude. So we need to uh, specifically uh, get into those. So we're just going to stack it up here with the Hobo Kings. So what we need to do then, to get this next achievement, we are going to head down, make sure there's a good bunch of people about, which it should be here. Use the Fire Breath, quickly pop out, and then hit the pan. This is basically like a cause, it's an area of effect. Uh, which we will need to complete the last ghoul as well. So you should get the Super Tramp Achievement. Um, oh, sorry, no. Yes, the Super Tramp Achievement for hitting seven dolls at the same time. So remember, this Fire Breath, you don't hit one at a time with the pan. It's the Fire Breath. You unstack very quickly, press the A button quickly, and that is like a big area of effect. And that's what, exactly what we're going to do here. So press the A button, quickly stack out. Once you hit the A button... As you can see, a couple of them do get burnt. Oof. Uh, now, for the first couple of times, I went way too close to the zombies, so make sure that you're just doing it. 
you know, just out of reach. But when you use the pan anyway, um, they will stay dead. So even if you die, these zombies will stay dead. So this is all we're doing now for this final part, and that is game over. Blink, 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 blink. Blink, 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 blink. Congratulations, everybody! Well, guess what? You have done it. You've all bloody won it. You've got the 250 G's in your bank. But I know a remake with a thousand G's would be better. But there we go, then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the game. This is a brilliant game, and I hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out as always, a uh, big massive shout out to my Patreon supporters, my YouTube members as well. Big respect to everyone. And again, thank you so, so much. I will see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big old love nuts.